so we're just going to dive right in. Uh, for those folks who can see my screen, we've got a lovely host of little fuzzy, uh, I'm going to call them fuzzy because I think they kind of look fuzzy at the moment. Uh, maybe they're a little cute. Cook. Anyways, uh, friends, pick your fish. Uh, I think we had some chatter earlier on about what fish folks would like. Um, and uh, as our friends pick their fish friends and paste them over to their pages, uh, folks at home can see my screen. Uh, you'll see that each fish up here will have their own little spot for them to plug their fish into. Uh, we're going to be putting tattoos on these fish, make them look super badass, as you can see as well. You can also donate up to $10 for a special tattoo request. Uh, you can put tattoos on your fish friends. Um, and I guess maybe what we'll do is go through some of those uh, donation items too while our friends fight for their uh, fish faces. Uh, let me pop some stuff here. All right. So for donation items, our uh, <clears throat> menu of things that folks can uh, donate for. Uh, for $10, if you donate $10, uh, you can choose the Make Me Hardcore option where uh, you can choose a fish to get a tattoo uh, and that fish's player can draw a tattoo onto their fish. Uh, or you can donate also $10 to give a, a stat upgrade called Swim Faster. Uh, that is an advantage on any of their uh, fishy rolls. Uh, we're making a couple D6 rolls today, so uh, in, in case I forgot to tell you, friends, grab your D6. Otherwise, I will roll for you. And uh, I'm notorious for rolling really terribly, so uh, probably get your own your own dice for, for luck purposes. Um, and uh, another $10 item to grab would be Hit Harder, which is a blade stat. So if any of our fish friends um, decide to, uh, make a stab at somebody or something or whatever they decide, um, that will give them advantage on that as well. Uh, and then we go up to our $25, uh, menu of things you can choose from. Uh, first option is guest artist. Uh, if you donate $25 to the stream, uh, you can choose one fish to gain a tattoo, but another player has to draw that tattoo on that fish. Mm -hmm. So if you donate, you can choose. Uh, which fish gets a tattoo, and you can choose which player gets to draw that fish. That's going to be super fun uh, as we go through the stream. I think that might be where I'm going to start with the uh, $200 split between all of our players. Uh, we also have an option called Reload. You can arm a fish with a new weapon. So if you uh, see a fish with a butter knife and you're like, no, that's not cool enough, you can give them a, I don't know, a ladle? What's cooler than a butter knife? I have no idea. Uh, but those are some of your options. Uh, and finally, of course, for another $25 or more, if you want to donate more, that's cool too. Uh, you can choose the Divine Doodle option. Uh, that lets me, your humble uh, fish master of this morning, uh, draw a random tattoo on a random fish and uh, force that player to give us a story about how they got that amazing tattoo. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. How are my friends doing with choosing your fish? We're just, uh, we're doing some technical support, but we're getting yeah. there. We're almost there. That's a nice way of putting it. I was going to say we're definitely not conspiring behind the scenes. Because <laughs> <laughs> no players ever gang up on their GM. Oh, no, yeah, of course. That, that wasn't happening. Don't, don't look at the chat, Eddie. <laughs> well, maybe we can take a peek at what our friends are doing over here. This is my example uh, for everybody at home. Uh, this is Vincent, the angelfish. Uh, uh, our fish stats and pointy stats are determined by dice roll, or I guess we can let our players decide today too, because uh, we are benevolent. Um, you can choose one stat between one and six. That's your fish stat. So anything you roll for a fish, uh, you plus your fish stat. And whatever your fish stat is, you got a minus six. And that becomes your pointy stat. As Wait, so our, our fish stat... What is is any, fish stat? any number between one and six... Uh, you can decide how fishy your fish is, uh, or if you wanted to, you can also roll for it. That's totally cool, too. Uh, I think our, our play testers rolled for it in the last play test that I did. I'm, I'm rolling for it. Yeah. Right, let's see the roll. In... One. Oh, oh. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's probably accurate, because I, I think if, yeah, you're, you're our, our uh, 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 seahorses are not as fishy, maybe? I, I might be kicking myself in the butt by saying that, but... Uh, you know. Looks like one. Joe also rolled a one. Is that right? Sorry, yeah. I also rolled a one. 
I was being weird. Uh, what are we rolling for? Uh, uh, your yeah. fish stat. You can also choose if you'd like. You can choose a, a number from one to six. Uh, your choice. Uh, obviously, six. You are definitely more fishy than others. Uh, and one is less fish able. I don't know if that's a thing. Fishable. Uh, fishable fish. fish. I, I, I will roll the die, and I will get a. I will get a three. Amazing. Amazing. You guys are equally equally fishy. So fishy. <laughs> Wait, so is our weapons our, our pointy stat is, is our fish stat minus six? Correct. So likely it will be in a negative, unless you are so fishy you are a six and your pointy stat's a zero. But I mean, what fun is that? Not so fun. We did homework. Not fun at all. Yeah, of course. So my fish so my fish stat is a is a three. Uh yes, if that's what you rolled. Yes. Okay. So my pointy stat is negative five. <laughs> I mean, you are a fish. It's true. true. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not very pointy. Nice. We're just here for comic comedic re relief. The rest <laughs> of the team can do the the real work. Stabbing. Incredible. People. Awesome. So I think we're just about done picking our fish. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go over some rules. Uh, I'll break down how this is going to work. Um, and then we're going to go through our uh, character introductions, semi-introductions, I guess, once more time, uh, this time with fins. Uh, and it's going to be great. Uh, so uh, for folks at home who can see my screen, uh, this is our scoreboard. Uh, as you can see, we've got all of our players at the top. Uh, each player has uh, five health points for their fish. Uh, if they get stabbed, they lose one uh, each time. So they essentially have five chances to get stabbed uh, by something pointy. Um, and as you can see below that, there's reputation points. What reputation points are uh, uh, very akin to something called inspiration that we have in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, if you do something cool, you say a cool fish pun, uh, you get donations, uh, all that great stuff, uh, you get reputation points. And for every reputation point, uh, you can use those to uh, bump up your dice. So if you, let's say you are a fish, your stat is one, you roll another one, and the, the threshold to do this fishy thing that I'm going to tell you to do is, I don't know, three. And you failed that because you rolled a two, because you rolled a one and you plus your fish stats a one. As you can see, you're missing a point. If you have reputation points, you can put one reputation point into that and you officially pass because that makes it three. Math. <laughs> uh, other things you can use your reputation points for. Uh, you can also uh, give other fish tattoos. So if you have a fishy friend, you wanna, you wanna give them a tattoo, that's gonna cost you two reputation points. If you actually lose health points, uh, you need eight reputation points to heal up. Uh, alternatively, of course, uh, I think I didn't include it in our menu, but in the event that folks want to donate for that kind of stuff too, please feel free to donate. Uh, we are happy to take donations to heal our fish friends if they get injured. Uh, again, they are fish uh, who are controlling sharp pointy things, so we'll see how good they are at, at controlling those sharp pointy things. Anyways, uh, fish puns count too. So if you make a cool fish pun, uh, you also get reputation points for those. So hopefully we'll see tons of really fun fish things uh, go on there. Uh, we're going to slide down a couple slides to our first fish. Uh, Joe, tell us about Chev. Chev? Chev. Chev, yeah. Chev. Right, right. Some, someone named Chev, right. Uh, I'm a guppy. Been, uh, been hanging out here in the tank for a while. Uh, can't tell from the way I speak. I'm obviously from Britain originally, uh, lower, lower east side. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm here hanging out in the tank. I've got my uh, my Swiss Army toothpick, uh, which has got a rainbow on it. It's kind of faded away after a while. But yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm Chef. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine a toothpick that flips out like a Swiss Army knife does. Uh, very, very innovative. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Uh, oh my gosh. Harold. Carl, tell us about Harold. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, well, I used to be like really important and uh, taking case and taking care of the, the Harold of, of, you know, the, the king of below the sea, but then I was I was captured. Um, so yeah, here, here I am. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, this is my nice Billy um, neck, neck warmer. 
Um, and, and I got a laser pointer from some, some kiddo at some point. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to hang out here. Amazing. Uh, oh my gosh, this this image is incredibly adorable. Uh, I'm very excited to see him uh, do some cool stuff. Uh, laser pointer is also a very innovative uh, weapon. Uh, we'll have to get some stories on our weapons in a minute too. Uh, Mark, tell us about Eric. Eric hates everything. <laughs> Eric is perpetually really angry about everything. He Incredible. Hates, he hates being in this restaurant. He hates he hates being in this tank. He hates all these other fish. He hates everything. He just wants to get out. But he'd probably hate that too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some angry face <laughs> icons here. Let's see. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. That's what we like. Ta-da! Eric's pretty crabby. Uh, <laughs> on brand all right okay and last but not least and tell us about pearl uh pearl is a retired emotional support dolphin and <laughs> is really hoping to fit in with all of these uh fish but is a little self-conscious that being the only mammal in the group and or not a mammal no but porpoise is like our, our porpoise because like whales are anyway they're she mammals. has concerns and questions about that um and likes to use a spork but is more of a friend dolphin than a fighting dolphin so it's more to lend a spork if you need one more to like protect yourself in case they come poking yeah. <laughs> incredible uh so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do some uh technical things including putting your characters onto our incredible map that i made thank you thank you very much applaud not needed uh, the Social Sailor is our restaurant that all of our fun fishy friends are living in. Uh, as you can see here by our display tank, this is where uh, uh, our folks are going to start. This is where they live. Um, and I guess while I do some of this uh, dragon over stuff, uh, why don't we go down the line and share a little bit about how your fish got their weapon? What is their story? Give me a little bit of a, a tidbit of what's going on with them. Uh, we'll start with, who was our first one? Our first one, I think, was Joe, right? Joe. Tell us a bit about Chev. How did he get his Swiss Army toothpick? Um, what's his deal? Why is he in this restaurant? What's going on? Okay, so the the short human version of how he got the um, the toothpick is that uh, one day a, uh, a, a a British tough came by the restaurant and somehow through some uh, a divine intervention dropped a, a pride themed Swiss Army knife in the display tank. Uh, and uh, the the um, the toothpick part slipped out, and then they got the the knife out, but the toothpick part stayed, and so that's his weapon. Uh, how Chev tells it is right, right. so one day, wandering around in the tank, right, and uh, suddenly out of nowhere comes this UFO, right, right out of the sky. Now I'm used to food coming from the sky, right? That's that's just that's the fish's life. But this thing comes out and it's just every color, colors I've never even seen before. Mike, come on, Dan. What I'm, what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it, of course. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's 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 something out of you know an offering from the fish gods. Of course, I'm going to take it. But then, then this massive meat thing comes down into the water and grabs it, right? And I'm just I don't know what the hell to do. I'm so so I bite it, right? I just, ah, right on the skin, and uh, I, I don't know what happened. It was like just this thing came over me, and uh, and then I and then I wake. It's like I passed out, and then I wake up. And, and I'm lying there in the bottom of the tank, and I thought, God, if I if I died and gone to heaven, like, now now I'm still in a friggin' fish tank. But right next to me there is this shiny, pointy, rainbow-colored, just stick. Right, and I realize, yes, this is the offering. This is, and my goal is to find that UFO and return this piece to it. So that it will know that I am truly worthy. That is incredibly wholesome. Yeah, Eric hates that. <laughs> awesome. You know what? Our... You know what, Eric might. I love you. <laughs> uh, Harold, what's your story? How did you get your laser pointer? What's going on? 
Well, you know, I was, uh, it was in the morning and I was getting up to do the roll call in the, uh, in the fish tank, make sure everyone, you know, heard the news, um, you know, the passings and goings of the, of the big ones and the, and the little big ones. And then one of the little big ones came over to the tank one day and uh, they were just shining this, this ray of God through the tank and it was amazing and just created all these cool colors. Uh, but then one of the big ones came over and yelled at the little big one and then there was some kerfuffle and then for some reason the, the shiny thing showed up in the tank. So I grabbed it with my tail and uh, yeah, I've kept it around here. It's my, it's my shiny device of, of God and it's amazing. So Harold thinks he's a herald of God. <laughs> Maybe <it's laughs> thing. I'm not sure, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, Eric. Well, one day that was a terrible day because they're all terrible days here in the tank. <laughs> one of the kids came by, started poking at the fish, started poking at the tank, had this steak knife kind of poking inside. I hated that. So I grabbed it and there's a tug of war ensued between me and this kid. So then I took my other pincers and I pinched her little fingers. She had to let go and now it's mine. And I keep it hidden under a rock for a rainy day, just in case I need it. Cause you never know when you need a shank. <laughs> I'm gonna cut somebody. I feel like that's more of an appropriate name for him. His name is Shank. <laughs> Eric, the Eric, Sh Eric the Shank. <laughs> Needs to be changed right now. Oh my goodness. Uh, Pearl, tell us about your spork. How did you get your spork? Well, uh, Pearl wanted to be supportive to uh, er Eric before it, it, Eric the, was Eric the Shank and uh, intervened with that kid. And when uh, they dropped the steak knife, they also dropped their spork. And not wanting to leave a mess anywhere, she of course picked it up just to keep the tank clean because everyone likes that. I hate that. Pearl Pearl is oh, sorry, tank. everyone but Eric likes that. <laughs> I'm just imagining this like six or seven year old poking at the tank with a steak knife in one hand and a spork in the other, <laughs> and then suddenly losing both, and then maybe a finger because maybe got slightly crab shanked. But uh, then he's emotionally supported after. So and, oh my goodness, all the emotions. Oh my gosh. Uh incredible so uh that was amazing guys so uh what i've done now is uh, on our scoreboard i've given each of you one reputation point to start for that amazing intro um and i think before we dive into some actual uh maps fun story stuff we have 200 dollars to split between everyone uh which means that's oh my gosh uh 50 worth i would say between all of you um because again i'm a benevolent uh fish lord uh i will let you guys choose what you do with your fifty dollars? Uh, your choices uh, are between a bunch of cool stuff. Some of our twenty-five dollar options. Let me pull up my list again. Uh, cool. So, uh, guest artist, if you want to choose someone to tattoo, you can use your uh, twenty-five dollar chip. We'll say you have two chips essentially uh, to uh, force another fish to change a weapon, or uh you can get me to draw a cool tattoo on your fish i could do that too um maybe we'll give it a couple minutes for folks to decide what they want to do jazz up your fish a little bit give them some cool tattoos do some fun stuff uh, of course you can also do the ten dollar list which also fun but maybe not as fun as the 25 dollar options which are make me hardcore choose a fish and draw a tattoo on them so if you want to as players draw a tattoo on your own fish you can do that too uh, maybe we'll add a couple tattoos before we get started. Uh, what is everyone thinking? Uh, I know what I know immediately what I want to do. All right. Uh, I want to uh, use one one uh, chip to give Carl a tattoo. Amazing. Uh, and then I want to use another chip to have you give myself a tattoo, give uh, Chev a tattoo. Incredible. All right, we got some drawing to do, guys. Uh, what's everyone else doing? I want to use a chip to give uh, Krabby Crab the tattoo. 
And I also would love a tattoo from from uh, our our fish fish lord if if our fish lord has time <laughs> to do multiple tattoos. All right, I I have been practicing my drawing <laughs> skills in this Google Jam board, so uh, we're gonna go through it. Yeah, I will absolutely do it. And keep in mind, players, that when you get a tattoo, you have to come up with a story about why you have that tattoo. Because again, we are heavy role play today, guys. We want all the fun stories. We want all the the dorky things that your fish is up to. Uh, Mark and Anne, what are you guys up to? I haven't decided yet. But I'm thinking tattoos. Incredible. There's going to be a lot of tattoos to go around. I think so. Tats, tats for everybody. Yeah. We got to be hardcore, guys. True. And we all want to be equally hardcore. So if we're who- bad at drawing with our mouse, can we like copy paste Google images? Is that is that cool? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you guys can are smart enough to figure all that out, please do. Uh, I am a fan of drawing myself. So, I mean, that's what I'm going to do because uh, I think it's super fun, but you know. So do I get to draw the tattoo on Carl? Uh, I believe so. Sorry, not on Carl. Uh, I apologize. Uh... <clears throat> on Harold the seahorse. Oh, you're muted. I think you're muted, Joe. Unless I'm muted. No. I was muted, sorry. Uh, sorry, that should be on Eric Shank, uh, not on Carl. Carl, I will get you next time, I promise. All right, sounds good. All right, Joe, I gave you a tattoo. You now have to come up you now have to come up with a story about it. FYI. So something to think about. Absolutely. I will do that as soon as I'm done uh tattooing Eric here. <laughs> we can peek over. Oh yeah. All right, and I have to do Harold as well, right? Let's see. Hmm. I will spend both my 25s on tattoos for my dolphin friend. Ooh, oh man, I'm going to be so hardcore then. Yes. I want you to be more angry like me. <laughs> You're way too nice. And I hate that. And I feel like it's you as a player referring to me as your friend because your character would never say that. Right? <gasps> he said friend. I always say friend in a sarcastic way. Friend of me. It's more like my friend. Who's not my friend. I don't have any friends. What's a friend? Friends are for the week. <laughs> Nice. Oh, no, that's not nice. Uh, okay. There's some really serious artwork going on here. <laughs> of course, because I chose artists for players. Gosh, why would I not do that in a, in a game of, of doodling things? We have... We have the, the lucky for the clover. Now we got the lucky horseshoe. Lucky, oh yeah! Lucky, 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 lucky. Amazing. Uh, yeah. So I guess just to do a little bit more of a description of what's happening here. Uh, Chev now has a cute little green four leaf clover, almost close to his bum. Uh, he's his guppy is a little bit. He's pink uh, with some uh, yellow fins. Uh, it's got big googly eyes and a pink stripe. Uh, a couple of pink stripes, very tiger-like stripes going through his body. Super cute. Uh, and he has to come up with a story about a four-leaf clover on his body. Uh, and Harold, the uh, green seahorse, uh, now has a horseshoe on his bum. Uh, Eric Shank, the uh, crab, has A-C-A-B on his body. Um, there's going to be a story about that, I'm sure. He's got also got... Uh, so I'm very angry, uh, black eyebrows uh, that look very angry, despite the smile on his face. It's very cute. And we're still waiting for some stuff on on Pearl, the, the adorable dolphin. Yeah, Mark, were you going to draw them or are you going to assign them to the GM? Or um, I'm going to assign them to the GM. 
Oh, cool. I get two? Yes. I get two. Oh, man, that's a lot of power. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So hmm. while that's going on, uh, I do have a story for the tattoo, if everybody... Share. Share away. Let's that? do it. Yeah. Right. So so we're, you know, well, we're younger once. We'll, we're all fresh out the egg. think we know how the world works and uh, thinking that we, we're like all that, right? Right. So this is back in the pet store days, right? Um, floating around in the tank and uh, happen to be seeing this uh, this quite attractive cuttlefish. Now, what a cuttlefish is doing in my tank in the fish store, no idea, but I wasn't going to question it. Right. So we're, we're, we're going together, right? And, and uh, like they're cuttlefish, right? Cuttlefish, good people, uh, generally not known for monogamy. It's fine. I've got no problem with that. I quite, quite like that. But I got so tired of having to uh, come up with claret every time some uh, wanker down the pub is like, oh, I heard your bird was out there with the other bite. Uh, first off, my cuttlefish happens to be gender fluid and does not particularly like feminine pronouns. Thank you very much. Uh, but finally, we just decided to make it official and uh, get tattoos. So I got Was that a, a pun? Claret. Oh, that was a pun. Yeah, we got our first <laughs> pun, guys. Oh man, that that made me that made me smile so hard. You're getting Aww. another point for that. Okay, cool. Go on, continue. Sorry, <laughs> so I was very excited. We we go down the shop. I'll get myself a clover. Uh, they get themselves a a, a heart because you know we're we're into it like that. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's where that comes from. And of course, uh, everybody knows the the laws of getting tattoos. Two weeks later, we're broken up and bit enemies. No. Yeah, no, it's it's how it goes. Don't get your don't get matching tattoos, mate. It just messes everything up. That was a great story. All right, so Pearl, I've given you a cute smiley face. Um, absolutely not what Eric wanted, but sounds good. I hate that, <laughs> I hate that a lot. <laughs> it fills me with spite. <laughs> incredible anybody else have some cool stories about their tattoos not yet well i plan what to do for the number two look at that so eric has now has a tattoo that says the law on his left clamper clippy thing Answer. also equally sharp thing those are gonna be a lot of fun stories from uh eric eric shank the crab All right. I need to figure out what the second tattoo is going to be. Hmm. Does Eric have any stories about his current look? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> These ones are hard. I'm just impressed that a crab managed to have eyebrows. <laughs> when you look at the crab figure, and you see the face of it, you must imagine it more like that smiley face is actually the nose. And the chin part is the is the frown. You have to re-envision how this crab looks. That's a giant frown, scowling. <laughs> it's not a little happy face. Yes. Yes, I thought they were just a different, like the absolute it. color was different, but no, it is an enormous... I, I see it. Perfect. Can I try adding? Like, if we put two little lines like here, oops, that didn't work. Like, I feel like if we add like a little lines like this, Oof. that fix it. 
Yeah. <laughs> Makes it more obvious. Yeah. Now we have a crab with a distinguished nose and a big frown. Yes. It, it feels very mustache to me. Or a mustache, I mean. <laughs> Maybe Eric is uh living under an assumed name and there's all this like groucho marks, like fake eyebrows and mustache and stuff like that. So like, hey, we, we, we don't talk about that. I hate that. <laughs> there's some very like French meets the godfather vibes <laughs> i don't know how, what type of story i should go with for for uh harold's harold's uh interestingly placed tattoo i didn't think harold would be the tattoo type harold seems a little square <laughs> yeah well that's what i'm thinking I, I feel like i feel like harold was uh conned into this tattoo or easily peer pressured because i think yeah. that's what happened with pearl <laughs> Eric's yeah, a bad influence. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, man. <laughs> That's what we call the other tank. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All types of shenanigans happen over in the other tank. We don't talk about it. Well, now here's the funny thing about the other tanks is that you guys are a display tank. You guys get to hang out and sneak out during the night uh, when no one's in the restaurant and do your shenanigans. Uh, but the lobster tank and the prawn tank are both. For eating right uh, if, if we haven't already deduced that uh they are in a regular rotation um except for maybe a couple <laughs> they don't make don't make friends with them i they'll mean just, you, you can make friends status. with them yes uh you might not see them ever again but you know nothing but sorrows for you there now I realize why Eric is the way he is, because he's a crab. <laughs> All crabs are being, oh, Eric, I should not have judged you. I don't want to talk about it. I hate that. <laughs> I think I have a story for my tattoo. I think, cool. I think, I think Harold, uh, so you said there was, a, there was a prawn tank and a lobster tank? There is, yeah. You can take a look at them on the last uh, slide if we want to get slide over so, there. So yeah, so I I think what happened was that one day uh, Harold was was heralding um, the, the the opening of the restaurant as normal and um, and was sort of in the corner there and and uh, one of the big ones came in and was sort of working with some of the tanks and grabbing some some shrimps, but it, it was clearly like a new and like a novice big one. And uh, they, instead of going to the shrimp tank to get a shrimp, they actually got uh, Harold because he looks a little shrimp. <gasps> oh, and no. So they took Harold back to the kitchen. And then the chef was like, holy crap, you brought the seahorse. This is obviously wrong. And they sent it, you know, they sent, sent the, the novice big one back. Uh, and it was quite quite a journey. Um, but Harold was put, put into the shrimp tank, you know, because this novice big one didn't really understand what was going on. So he... He, he he spent a, a very very horrific night in the in the uh, in the shrimp tank. Um, he doesn't talk about it. It was it was a it was a night you know of, of incarceration that had had really put a lot of impact in his psyche. But a uh, long story short, he showed up back one day at the dis display tank the next day, um, having been fixed by the head chef and had this tattoo to show for it. The horseshoe <laughs> for a seahorse. I hope someone got that. Did you ever make it to the kitchen? I did. Yeah, I I I, I briefly was was put on the on the cutting board before the head chef <gasps> caught caught the mistake and sent me back to the display tank. It was quite a horrific experience, but but not, nothing prepared prepared Harold for the experience of being ganged up on upon by a bunch of shrimp and meaning meaningly tattooed <laughs> against his will if only you had your trusty laser pointer at that point true i didn't have it <laughs> i was <clears throat> but now i keep a laser pointer with me whenever possible held with my tail amazing i think we're gonna go easy on this one i'm definitely curious annie like how big is Pearl? Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm, uh, I mean, I'm not a baby dolphin, but maybe I'm like a very small type. A very rare miniature dolphin? <laughs> yeah, a teacup dolphin. Teacup dolphin, yes. That's incredibly adorable. 
<laughs> that's amazing because i'm thinking about display tanks and i'm like yeah i'm not <laughs> looming over everyone <laughs> you just take up the entire display tank we're just like live in the corner <laughs> <laughs> Although that would be kind of perfect for a support dolphin, like. Yeah, yeah. When I said support, I mean like a two by four. Like I'm, I'm physically. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. You look like you need a hug. No. <laughs> load bearing support dolphin. <laughs> Nothing like a good old load bearing dolphin. <laughs> oh, it's such a nice crew. No one's uh, body shaming me for being a load bearing dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Nah, love. Nah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's a shooting star. Um, Y'all are just watching me draw. Where are your drawings? You're just supposed to draw too. It's very meditative. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you have good stories for these. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because, I mean, um, both Tata. <laughs> beautiful both tattoos were just uh trying to be hardcore like eric said and so of course the most hardcore i mean let's be honest the most hardcore thing is radi radical uh, vulnerability so um and expressing one's emotions so that's where the happy face comes from um and then shooting star shooting i mean okay that is actually pretty tough i mean if you consider dolphins who like you know do the whole cute little jumping motion yeah if you want my inspiration for where i kind of like oh well we'll just plug a something else that jumps really cute that you it's like when you put there. stripes on something to make it go faster yeah like, or this is this this makes me jump higher amazing reach for the stars all right do we have any other tattoos that we want stories of before we uh maybe jump into some actual tank uh and restaurant and Heist goodness. How are we doing, folks? Let's get heisty. Yeah. yeah. Feisty and heisty. All right. Okay. Incredible. Um, so uh we're just gonna dive right in. Uh, uh -huh. do I get points for that? <laughs> yes. Can I make can I make your lives a living hell with that? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh first of all, I guess before we dive into uh <clears throat> Uh, it's funny because my husband is sitting next to me, uh, also watching the stream, and he mentioned that uh, in the chat he was saying how uh, he thinks that Eric the Crab should have a tattoo of himself being angry on himself. <laughs> so maybe at some point we can do that. Um, but... A frown on the back of his head, so he's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he can just flip around and now he's angry. <laughs> just always angry, no matter how you look. Angry the other, yeah. <laughs> awesome, amazing. Okay, so uh our story begins uh this is the social sailor um you guys have been uh living in the social sailor for who knows how long uh fishy things come and go in the tanks beside you um you watch as people come in they have uh dinner lunch uh, all uh array of fun seafood goodness uh that land on their tables um you've also seen uh long i think i think carl called them big ones wander about with giant plates and weapons uh, of glory and goodness uh, throughout the last who knows how long. Uh, the fun thing about the social sailor is that during the day when there are people, uh, the display tank watches. They watch, they learn, they plot, they do whatever uh, amount of incredible zaniness that they do in the display tank as children and adults alike tap on their tanks all day long, uh, prompting you to do fun tricks, do fun, silly things, maybe eat some food while they uh, they drop food into your tanks. Uh, sense to say, of course, there's occasional uh, laser pointers and sporks that come through. Um, and uh, during the night, is when the fish come out. They've plotted this far that uh, they would like to escape this solitary life of uh, tank and water, uh, minimal water. Um, and uh, they have uh, an idea to try to make it out to the open water, whether one of them makes it out, whether all of them make it out, who knows? Now, 
The rules of the social sailor is that the front door is locked at night. So the only way out is during the day when all the big ones are about perhaps having lunch, perhaps sending food to different different tables and you see as as forks and knives alike come across uh, your tank. It's lunch hour. Restaurant is relatively quiet at the moment. Uh, we're going to plug some fun people in here. You see this fun gentleman who's standing by the front of the social sailor getting ready for the lunch hour rush. Uh, you see, what else do we got here? We also have this fun fellow who is uh, preparing some lunch, probably wandering through uh, the kitchen to the front every so often, uh, getting set uh, here along these two tables, uh, some buffet items. Uh, so those are buffet tables. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, I will fix that. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's very thrown together, but you know, I'm very proud of my my work. Uh, also, he's wandering about uh, at this table back here. Um, he's also got some uh, carving items, uh, both chicken and beef, because again, we are a uh, seafood restaurant, but you know, gotta have the options. Um, so this guy is also wandering about. Um, and our friends are currently in display tank, considering their escape. They've never been out of the tank during the day when there's people around. So there's lots of stuff going on, uh, I'm sure, through their minds. What is our fish friends thinking? And before you go into that, uh, we do have a $10 donation for a tattoo on the seahorse. So Carl, at any point, uh, if you want to decorate um your lovely uh green friend uh with another tattoo because it's ten dollars you get to choose your own tattoo um you can plug in something there fun for us and then when it's ready of course you can let us know uh we got we got to have a good story for it too so um that's all for you uh amazing what are what are our, our tank friends thinking what's going on what's everyone doing can we get out over the top of the like is it sealed uh, I would say, uh, to guests, like, imagine like half the tank is sealed from like the, the guest side and the back of the tank is openable. And right. you guys have obviously been in and out of the tank plenty of times. Uh, so this I... is not something that's hard for you guys to do. You can totally do it. It's just a matter of making sure you do it stealthily, subtly, whatever you decide to do. We need the distraction. At the moment, there's not many people in the social sailor at the moment. So again, you can kind of, you know, do as you will. But uh... yeah, we're uh, look, look. <clears throat> anyway, this is going to work as we uh, we got to get the lobsters and the shrimps in on this. <laughs> A there's revolution. No <laughs> it's no way we're apples and pears in this without without them involved. Speaking of the lobsters and the shrimp, um, most of you will know that there is a uh, friend of yours in the lobster tank. His name is Clarence. He is the only lobster in the lobster tank that has been there for more than a day. He's not our friend for long. <laughs> I mean, think of it like this. I imagine Clarence to be like, uh, if if you were old enough to be like a sage in your tank, yeah, he's been there for more than a day, uh, probably more than maybe a week because he's managed to evade uh, being eaten. He's probably a little more scrawnier than the other lobsters because he's bit, he's a little bit older, uh, so they don't choose him. Pushes the other lobsters in front of him to you know, yeah, <laughs> <you know? laughs> precisely. Uh, but he, uh, as far as you guys know, he's a very wise lobster. Again, he's been here a long time. It looks longer than the other lobsters. So uh, perhaps an ally, who knows? We can we can convince Clarence of our plan. The other other shells will come in line. Yeah. Maybe uh, since we know how to get out of tanks, maybe um, Eric could 
I don't know, because with the pinchers, maybe you can open the lobster tank. We could have a real crustacean revolt here. Yeah. A revolution. That's not very subtle, though. <laughs> well, if we're going to do that, the first thing we need to do is set up a crustacean station. Hey, <laughs> I'll give you a point for that one. Uh, for the record, too, our reputation points uh, are as follows at the moment. Uh, Joe's got two, Carl's got one, Mark now has two, and Anne's got one. So again, feel free to use your points for whatever you choose. Uh, I will obviously be, do my best to be as benevolent as possible. You guys obviously will see me plug plenty more of my little Vincences on your little scoreboard. Okay, so what's our plan then? I mean, if we're doing it subtly, why are we... Are we um, going to have a revolution or are we going to try and sneak out? If well, we try I mean, to... it's, it's apples, it's apples and pears, mites. It's, 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 you have the revolution and then you use the revolution to sneak out. <laughs> wow. In the chaos, in the ensuing chaos. Hmm. I'm really good at jumping. I bet I could jump to that tank, but I'm worried that they'll pinch me. Well, you stick him with your spork. You can't stick. It's a spork of friendship. <laughs> the spork of friendship. <laughs> we need to so, have a talk about that. So we've got some guests coming in for the uh, the lunch rush here. Uh, these guys probably for some sort of business meeting at, at the social statement. You know. Harold pipes up immediately upon seeing the guests enter. The guests have arrived. Everyone in position, prepare yourself. Oh, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> every time he says that, I just cringe. Because every day, every day, when people come in, he's like, everybody get to attention, everyone to your places. And I hate that. Speaking of Harold, how's your tattoo coming along? I have my tattoo. Oh my goodness. Uh, what is your tattoo? Well, uh, everyone, everyone who works for uh, King Triton, of course, has uh, has a very important uh, tattoo of his um, trident, and so this is uh, Harold's uh, membership rite of passage. Is it <laughs> the one tattoo you really wanted? Nice, incredible. So you guys see these two guys come in. They get seated at one of these tables here by the by the windows. Uh, these little uh, roundy things here. Our windows. Our windows. Right. Uh, they are pretty sturdy windows, but I mean, you are fish and you can do whatever you want. So, are they open windows or are they like glass and? They are glass windows. Okay, and not so openable. So they're not. Oh, okay. We have to go through the door, I guess. That's an important thing to know. <laughs> I mean, you do. You guys do have a bunch of sharp weapony things. Uh, again, depends on how strong you are. Uh, you know. Not very. We can make oh, it work. I bet you I could. I bet you I could carve a way through that window if you just get me there. I'll, I'll use my. I'll use my freedom stick to carve a way out. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, so, is, any, is anybody trying to leave the tank yet? Harold's using his. He's going to use his little laser light and try to like. Wait, who came in? Is there a kid in there in the group? No, there are two businessmen. Two businessmen. Yeah, these guys right here. Uh, okay, well, no, no kids. I was going to try to attract a kid over. I will attempt to go to the lobster tank. Okay, um, that's going to be a fish roll. Our first roll of the day, guys. Uh, fish roll, you guys have probably gone over to the lobster tank plenty. So this roll will be a roll for six. You need to get a six to pass. And so the fish stat? Mm -hmm. Roll your uh, fish stat. Uh, so you, you roll your d6. Whatever yeah. number you get, you add that to your fish stat. That is your uh, probability of success. Okay. And your difficulty level is six. Oh, well, I got a four. Amazing. And your your stat is what again? Remind us. No, no, no. I arrived at four total. Oh, <laughs> four four total. total. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, we see Chev it is, right? Pardon is me? Chev is Chev trying to get out of the tank? No. <laughs> Eric, no, mixed, Eric, Eric the fish, uh, Eric, Eric the not fish, uh, Eric uh, on his way out of the tank. He still gets out of the tank, but he fumbles, 
and he's on the ground at the moment. You do have to climb all the way back up to get into the lobster tank now. Ah. It's happened once or twice, you know, extra limbs. Happens sometimes. It's hard, to, it's hard to do this with a knife in your hand. In your that pins. too. Uh, cold in heaven, you'd hate to see it. <laughs> Incredible. I think that's the point. <laughs> Pearl saw Eric go for it and didn't think twice and went to follow. So let's see if she's successful. Amazing. Oh, yeah. I rolled a seven with my fish stat added. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, you guys see Pearl just gracefully woo, up over into the lobster tank. Uh, and looking, splish, looking down saying, weren't we supposed to go in the tank? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, so uh, Pearl gets into the lobster tank. Uh, there's a bunch of lobster in here. It's uh, like it's it's busy. Um, they, they've just been refilled for the afternoon for the afternoon rush. Um, so it's pretty busy in here. Clarence, uh, you don't see him for a little bit, but uh, deep in the corner of the tank, he's just chilling there, being as sage as he is. Harold's like going over to Chef. Where 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 are they going? <laughs> We're we're supposed to wait for the the people to come and we can do the tricks and stuff. And what's happening? Oh, they're just getting in some practice, Mike. Getting uh, getting oh. familiar with the land, you know. Oh. Listen, Harold, you've I know you don't like to talk about it, but you've been in the kitchen, right? Yeah. 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 Listen, I bet there's a door back there, isn't there? Uh, I I think so. Uh, DM. <laughs> 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 uh you've seen a lot of doors you don't know where they go uh the one time you did see someone open one of the doors uh there was a brush of cold air that came out yeah, yeah there's there's doors but but it's a horrible place back there they got sharp pointy things oh yeah yeah we don't i mean we don't want to be in there too long but but here's what i'm thinking right we create a ruckus set here Ooh. And then while they're out here kind of clean that up, we go back there and then get out and get to the open water. Oh, I get it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're see? trying to escape. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You see, uh, we're, we're thinking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, what type of distraction should we make? Well, here's, here's the thing. Uh, because you used to be in the court. And uh, I've been around a bit, so why don't we, why don't we pretend to fight? Ooh, wait, they... uh, that sounds scary. We're, we're yeah, actually going to fight, right? Well, I mean, no, we're, we're going to, I mean, we're going to fight a little bit just to make it, but, but we're not going to like cut each other or anything. That's too much. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, okay, sure. So we go do a fight. Uh, and then how is that going to be a distraction? Just because we're going to make it like a lot of splashes? Yeah, exactly. A lot of splashes, a lot of noise, a lot of, bubbles. A lot of attention. All right. I'm down. All right. So uh, let's get started with that and see what happens, right? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. What type of weapon do you got? Ching! <laughs> I pull out my laser laser beam. <laughs> right, just just not in the eyes, right? That's where we're agreed. Well, okay, we are no pokey things in the face. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Okay, perfect. All right. Does Chef have a story of uh, Harold perhaps shining the light into his eyes? This is why he knows it doesn't go into his eye. Because you're a fish, uh, right? How do you know that this is not belonging <laughs> in your eye? Tell that's me. A good, that's a good point. I think I've <laughs> seen Harold like shine it in the kids eyes a couple of times uh-huh and the he kids always seem to like really freak out when he does that he got into my eye and i hated that oh no <laughs> there's there so many fun. reasons why i don't like this seahorse <laughs> <laughs> his trumpeting his laser pointer in the eye Incredible. i hate that guy <laughs> yeah speaking but about love... hating that speaking about hating that guy what's eric up to he's on the floor I hate that. I want to get off the floor. I want to get into the. Oh, I, oh, I want to get up into the the uh, lobster lobster tank. Yeah, uh, give me another fish roll. Uh, <laughs> we'll do six again. Oh you no, we'll make it easier for you. We'll Ooh. do five. 
thought uh, I, got, I got a nine. Nine. Uh, incredible. A little bit of a scutter. Uh, flop right into the uh, lobster tank. Uh, you see Pearl there with you. I need uh, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys up to? Um, well, I was pretty nervous before Eric got here with all these lobsters. So I've swum down to where Clarence is and I'm explaining the plan. We're gonna make a break for it. Today is our day, lobster revolution. Clarence is listening. He's got his big mustache. Uh, you know how lobsters have those like two little whoop, mustachey things? Uh, his are, uh, comically white and they look like this giant like mustache that looks like uh, he's very sage uh, knows a lot of things and he just looks at you and goes a narrow focus brings big results <laughs> Pearl that's, all, that's all he says He's next. <laughs> and Eric has now joined you. What's Eric doing? Um, attempting to incite a riot. <laughs> <laughs> so it is rise, conditions arise. The time has come. Incredible. Uh, it's a bit like uh, imagine like traffic in india sort of vibe in here right. uh the water is a little bit murky uh the fish come and go in and out a lot here so the water is not as clean as your tank um the lobsters are kind of having their own little bit of chaos and panic going on uh some of them are just sitting at the bottom just kind of chilling uh i also imagine these guys are a little bit like um hippies if you can already get that a little bit from clarence uh, <laughs> uh, they're living their best life i mean they don't have their pinchers like you do so there's this obviously tied up they're all, they're some rubber bands up. because again they they gotta get eaten they come in and out of the tank all the time you're the only one with the free pinchers uh but uh yeah they as as you're trying to incite some riot between them uh they're they're kind of looking up at you kind of right on and then kind of just you know waving with their closed pinchers at you we need to rise against the biped overlords snip the pinchers Ooh! can i use my my that's a great idea can i use the 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 knife or my pincers to to unleash them from their bonds i mean that's gonna be a blade roll if you ask me <laughs> yeah that's a blade roll i'm Let's giving do emotional it. support oh incredible We'll see how the blade rule goes, and then we'll describe if if we need some some help. What what number do I need? Because I'm at minus three. <laughs> Let's do. You're at a minus three, so you need a good roll. So we'll do we'll do difficulty three. Thanks. All right. These are some big rubber bands. Absolutely not. There's no way I'm, I was successful. Oh no. Uh, so you, you make your way over to the nearest lobster, uh, and he kind of goes, what's up, man? And you go, trying to clip him free, uh, but you quickly realize that, uh, it's just not working. It's not a thing. He's, yeah, he's kind of waves at you, goes, tried that, dude. Nah. <laughs> we need to, we need to overturn the tank. We need to get all the lobster to push up against one side to knock the tank over onto the floor. Yeah, that I, and if I go on that side too as a load bearing dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> this... Also, I, I swim upside down uh, above Eric and point out that, you know, if you look at you like this, it's like you're smiling. Oh, Amazing. the biggest of scowls. Just. Yeah, so as you Which guys are doing. Looks just yeah. like an even bigger smile. <laughs> <laughs> amazing so as you guys are in your respective tanks uh you guys are seeing some folks start to come in now for lunch uh it is starting to get a little more busy um yeah you guys are welcome to actually explore the chances are you are small fish uh you have to make a pretty big ruckus for them to actually notice you so 
Speaking of a ruckus, <laughs> on guard. <laughs> right, time to get nasty. Time to time to like Harold tries to put on his like meanest meanest face. Doesn't look very mean though. He's he's just like and he wields his laser light and starts shining it like not at you but like past you. Um, he's gonna attempt to create like a little laser show. Well, well, well. We do this staged fight. Okay. Uh, so you guys are PvP fighting. Is that what's happening? I'm very confused. What's going on? PvP <laughs> fake fighting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, laser light show. We're gonna do a blade stat for both of you. Uh, opposed blade stat rolls. <laughs> <laughs> they accidentally injure each other. <laughs> so I've got a minus two. I have a minus six. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I would say at this point, we're going to allow the winner tattoo the loser. You get to add a tattoo to Harold. How's that? <laughs> yes, absolutely. 100%. It's all about Incredible. The in this game. Oh yeah, of course. That's what that's that's what that's for. I mean, optionally, you could actually injure him, and I I I'd, I could say like, yeah, you're you're down at HP now, but it's a bit early. So, I kind of like the idea of I sort of give him a scar. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. We're all friends here. All right, so we got some more people coming in. Uh, it is getting pretty busy. Uh, what are you guys doing? You're supposed to make your escape today. Uh, that's the plan. The door is open. Uh, it is swinging back and forth. Uh, all you got to do is make it out this door over here. This gray piece down here and out into the ocean. I mean, again, if the restaurant closes, you are stuck in here for another night. Well, I think we've we've spread the word to the, the lobster tank that we are, the time is... Now the time is right. Incredible. I'm going to make another attempt to get into the next tank to tell the shrimp that the time is now. Arise, escape. Yeah. Unshackle uh, your bonds. Follow me. <laughs> this this is Twitchy. Hey, Twitchy. Twitchy. Twitchy lives in the shrimp tank because he's a shrimp. Uh, I hate Twitchy. <laughs> Twitchy gave me my tattoo. <laughs> oh dang <laughs> he was very twitchy when he did it, it, it anyways he's he's kind of the leader over there in the in the shrimp tank uh he's got a bit of a you know a, a thing going on for him too but you know it is it is what it is uh he's also uh very revolutionary uh he also wants to escape oh, yeah. uh, i think you guys will probably know that again he is also the smallest out of all of you so he's very he's very he's not not very fishy uh, not not very skilled, uh, and chooses not to have weapons because he's not as violent as 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 uh, he wants to believe he is. So, but he's over there in the in the shrimp tank. I'm sure he's also like up to the glass here, waving at you guys. I will attempt to go over. Cool. Uh, fish stat. Yeah, that's my three. So I should roll it. Roll again. Uh, yes. Uh, same same stat. I'll give you six for that to get over. All right. Six totaled. Amazing. Uh, you scuttle up to the top. Uh, nice big jump. Boom. And you hop right into the shrimp tank without any issues. Th these two tanks were admittedly closer together than the display tank. I'll follow, tanks, hopefully, you know. with another spectacular jump. Ooh, yeah, I rolled a six on the dice. So Amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah right right behind him, uh, Pearl jumps over, and uh, you guys see Twitchy. And Twitchy immediately swims over to you guys and goes, oh, uh, is, it, is, is it today? Today's the day, isn't it? Today's the day. Yeah, today's the day. It's got to be today. It's got to be today. I can't stay here another day longer. Today's the day, right? Today is the day. Rise. Rise up. Uh, now. Follow, follow me. Oh, follow you. Follow you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And he's, 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 his name is Twitchy for a reason. <laughs> I'm brandishing the stick knife like a sword. Oh, weapon. Okay, go. Follow me. All right. So. What's next? Where are you guys going? I'll try and uh, leap against the side of the uh, tank to flip it over. Because I'm probably okay. pretty heavy given it's a shrimp tank. Okay. Uh, hmm. I will say this is a 
blade roll, despite the fact that you're not using your blade, but maybe your spork helps you push it over. Yeah, it's a fulcrum. Right? Got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll say this this is going to be not easy uh, because this is a giant tank. You are a small dolphin. Uh, and this deep, will be a deep golf dolphin. <laughs> Uh, we'll say this is a four. Okay, and that's my pointy stat? Yes. I don't think this is mathematically possible on a t6, given it's a negative. Ooh, I did roll a six on the dice, but minus three, so that's a three. Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, you try to knock it over, but, uh, you're, you're able to make a couple splashes. Uh, a couple of the shrimp kind of look at you going, what the heck is she doing? We should uh, all do this. And I I also think that Twitchy is like right behind you going, we're going out, right? We're going out, right? Hi, girl. We're going out, right? We're going out, right? Right today, right? Right? He's he's right on your back. Uh, Eric's making... right as always. We should do it all together. Teamwork. Yeah. And I, I think uh, also too, Twitchy just does like a backflip. And he's like, okay, well, Wrong I'm way. going. Let's go. Let's go. I want to go. Let's go. And he flips, backflips, and jumps right out of the tank. Huh? Let's go, guys. Let's go. Follow I want to go. All right. Cool. Is that a fish, fish roll if we just try and jump rather than knock it over? No. Do we want to go along the side of the walls or right through the middle? I'm thinking hang to the walls. That's me too, but uh, I think Twitchy is... No one can hold Twitchy back. Well, if, <laughs> if, if, if Twitchy gets caught, it takes, you know, the attention away from us. So, you know... The sacrifice of one, one penguin must save the rest. That's cold, but okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll do a fish stat. This will probably be super easy. Uh, we'll do like five for you guys to get out. And as you guys roll your stat, uh, uh, Harold and Chav, what are you guys doing? All right. <clears throat> Wait, you muted it again, Joe. Hello. So this is not working. Obviously, we need a more sophisticated plan. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a pun and a half. <laughs> uh, we'll give you a point for that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think. Okay, so hear me out. The, 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 the weird meat creatures. They come from the kitchen. And they come and feed the other weird meat creatures. Yeah, the big ones. Yeah, exactly. And then they go back in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Right. So what if we get on one of the tables of the big weird meat creatures? And then when they come out to give them food, we like jump on the weird meat creatures that are going back there. And then from there, we can escape. Genius. You're so good at this, Chef. Oh, thanks. What could uh, possibly go wrong? <laughs> or we could, like, join the rest of our team. I suppose that's also an option. I think this is a good plan. <clears throat> right, uh, let's do it. I think, I think, yeah, I think we're... Can we just try to jump out of this tank and, and make our way over to one of the tables and disguise ourselves on, on one of the tables as as the decoration? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so you're trying to jump from the tank to a table or to the floor first? What do you think, Chev? I think ideally to a table. You know, like tank to okay. table to table, that makes more sense. So we're thinking like this guy right here or this yeah. guy here? First one? Closes. Yeah, I think we'll start with the first one. All right, uh, let's do fish stat. Uh, we'll make that a seven. That's <laughs> we, neither of us can make a seven. We have negative Okay, we'll drop, we'll, we'll drop it. <laughs> well. For for fish, we could make it if we roll a six. Oh, true, 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 true. If we roll a six, yeah. Cool. How did uh our shrimp tank folks go? You guys had a, had a roll, right? Yeah, I failed mine. Oh, oh no, buddy! I just made mine. Uh, I got a two on the dice, but I have a plus three. Phew. So this is what's happening over here. <laughs> Uh, Eric is upside down. He's uh, tripped and, f and 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 stumbled out of the fish tank. Both of you are out of the, the shrimp tank. Um, is that smile? That frown has been turned upside down. Mm -hmm. It is now appropriate. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Incredible. And and I think with that, I think we're going to do our first injury because y'all have not been injured enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, Eric, you hit an injury. You've now dropped down from five to four. This is a reasonable uh, thing. Yes. I'm also carrying a knife, so. Yes. <laughs> not easy, for sure. <laughs> Bad is jump or running with scissors. You're jumping with knives. Yeah, yeah. Something terrible is bound to happen. Incredible. Uh, all right. Um, display tank friends. Uh, are you guys escaping to your table? How did you guys do? I actually managed to roll a six, so I've I've uh, I've made the seven. You've made it onto the table. Incredible. Uh, I Errol. rolled a a four, so I got a five. All right, so I think you just almost about make it, uh, but you are on the floor. Wow. So you you guys see as uh, Chev uh, gracefully uh, has watched Pearl do plenty of jumps before um, and has uh, flip-flopped his way over onto the table. Uh, right behind him is Harold, who uh, does not have as many uh, uh, big fins to assist him uh, as uh, Chev does. So he's uh, also gracefully made it to the floor. I sort of flop off the edge of the table onto the floor and just <laughs> smack right on the side as you go down. <laughs> uh, but I think we keep keep wandering towards this uh, the nearest table with people on it because we're going to try to masquerade as decorations. Cool. This could All go right. very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you guys going to join up with the rest of your friends over here? I eventually. Eventually, yeah, we're, we're moving that direction slowly. Incredibly. Uh, so uh, as as you guys are kind of doing your thing, um, Chef is over here. Uh, he hasn't seen you guys yet, but uh, you know, we're doing our thing. What else are you guys doing? Uh, so as soon as I see that Harold hasn't made it, I I flop over to the side of the table and like, it's all right. You can do it. <laughs> Come on, Harold. Uh, uh, all that other supportive stuff that the dolphin says. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to make it up to this table. And so that we can at least, maybe we can just jump from this table onto like the waiters, uh, uh, whatever it's called, serving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Cool. I got, I got a two to get onto so, the table. Uh, so the table is pretty high up. But uh, I think before you do that, as you can see with our new graphic, uh, we got a couple friends who spot you. Uh, just as they turn the corner around the, the display tank. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the, the the three little mice that uh, has turned the corner and spotted uh, Harold out of his tank goes, Harold, what are you doing out of the tank? And you see these three three trio mice, uh, you know them as Rodney and the Rat Pack. A good, good band name. Rodney, Rodney, uh, uh, no, we're just, we're just, uh, we're just trying to. I think we're trying to escape. Do you wanna, do you wanna help out? Escape? Hmm. I don't know why you'd want to escape. This is a pretty snazzy place. But uh, what's, what's, what's in it for us? Well, uh, I, I think I remember. Well, you guys like, like, what do you like to eat? What's your favorite food? Uh, one of the other mice behind him, and he goes, food. I mean. We eat just about anything, I guess. I mean, if it tastes good. I mean, this place smells pretty fishy as it is, but, you know. Well, you can help us get into the kitchen. We, have, we might be able to kick some food off of one of the things as we as we make our way to the door back there. The door? Hmm. That sounds pretty fun. <laughs> they kind of look at each other and go, okay, well, all right. All right, we're in. What you cool. got? What you got in mind? Well, we were our plan was to go up there. You, you can see Chev up there. He's he's waiting for me. But uh, we we're gonna go and try to jump on on one of the the trays of the waiters. But I don't know. Do you have a different plan? Is there a different way to get to the kitchen? Uh, one of one of the the third mouse kind of looks over and goes, "Well, I mean, there's a door over there." I guess. Yeah, but and, and of get... course, of course, you see the chef kind of push his way through the door as as you guys. He he mentions that. I yell at the chef like. What do you what do you want to do, Chev? Uh, it's the mice. Great. <laughs> and Chev is on the table, so you uh, see the mice from a very new view. 
<laughs> it's kind of anyway. Uh, look, tell you what, if you help my buddy Harold there get into the kitchen, I'll make sure to knock down, uh, I don't know, cheese. You guys like cheese, right? Cheese. Mm. That's a stereotype. That, 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 that is pretty good. Not gonna lie. It's good. Um, okay, sure. If you know where the cheese is. Actually, you know what? I think I know where the cheese is. They kind of uh, start to make their way towards the kitchen. Um, All right, now help. Uh, help with Harold first. Help, help. Help. Oh, help. HD mice, God. <laughs> Uh, right, I'm so, gonna I'm gonna just like go with the, go with the mice I guess just maybe they can help carry me over there. <laughs> so it's like cool. yeah. I mean, again, fantasy fantasy fish. We can we can make it work. <laughs> I, I walk uh, on my my one tail that's also holding the laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So you guys are going to the kitchen then? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try to sneak sneak through the doors. I, chef, chef, come on, come on. Just just jump down. I think I think this is a better way through. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Cool. I'll say no rule needed. You guys make your way uh, behind uh, this this uh, carving carving table uh, on your way to the kitchen. Um, our friends over at the shrimp tank, how are you guys doing? I think we need to make our way to the corner. Agreed. I, I, like I think I think maybe you, I think you guys see your friends uh, back there talking to Rodney. Yeah, I think they're. I think that's a red herring. <laughs> oh. Uh, I think going to the kitchen is a terrible idea. So I'm going to make way to the corner and go to the front door. So Eric is on his way to the corner here. Yeah. That look right? Yeah. And I'll follow uh, my friend, of course. Follow me if you want to live. <laughs> er, you know, like Eric's he... only saying that because he's jelly. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, from this corner, uh, I think you guys definitely see that, uh, you know, this this table right here is... Uh, a favorite table because it's the corner table. Uh, it's a pretty like uh, exclusive table, so it's it's one of those that is reserved for like the special guests. So you know, uh, there's there's usually not as many people in this corner. So I think a lot of you have taken it upon yourselves to hide things back here. Um, if you have a secret little hidey hole, um, there's like a thin layer of like dust on top of the table, but no one really notices. It gets cleaned every so often. Uh, that sort of idea. Uh, there is a big window over here as well. Uh, you guys could probably have like hop, you could hop onto the ledge if you wanted to. Uh, all the fun stuff. Uh, yeah, corner is a good vantage point spot, I think. You see the restaurant's pretty getting pretty full. Uh, it's pretty busy. Uh, there's probably more than one of these waiter guys around, but again, for the purposes of role play and me having to add too many things to my already very complicated map going on. Uh, he's, he's doing his thing. Uh, we'll take a break as well. Uh, just to say, I mentioned not, not a break break, but uh, a moment to say that, uh, we did get another $40 donation. Uh, so everybody gets tattoos. Uh, so if you guys want to take like a second to throw something onto your, your fish and friends, uh, that will be great. Uh, I think this is a, a $10 for each of you. So you each get to tattoo your own fish, uh, something cute. Um, and, uh, do that before we move ahead. Uh, so and. Yeah, go for it. Uh, sorry, I, I noticed the message, and so I kind of already given myself the tattoo. Does anybody want to hear the story behind it, or should we just move on? Uh, we absolutely want to hear a story behind it. Why don't you give us a story while uh, the rest of our fish friends yeah, add absolutely. some more tattoos to themselves? So Chev doesn't like to talk about this much, but Chev is, uh, um, uh, insert fishy religion pun here. I can't think of one at the moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so like many of his brethren, he has uh, uh, the, pic, the, the silhouette of the human tattooed on his fin uh which is his is sort of his symbol of his devotion to uh, uh the great uh fleshy one in the sky amazing uh so just for our, our viewers at home too just to give you a bit more of a description uh chev is our pink guppy fish with the uh tiger stripes uh he's got yellow fins he's currently has a uh four-leaf clover on his bum he now also has a uh shadowy uh great big big one shadow figure on his uh, tail fin as well just to kind of give you an idea of what he looks like super cool um and i guess as we're sliding over we see harold as well harold how are you doing yeah so i i guess i have a couple of tattoos i can describe so from the yeah. beginning I, I have the the what is that called a 
horseshoe on on my my uh, on Harold's butt, and uh, then I have the um, trident from King Triton on his shoulder, and uh, well, also he received a little bit of a scar. He has a scar on his fin. Um, I guess he didn't really. I don't know if he received it right now. It's like this is like a previous tattoo, but uh, he has or he has a scar on his fin from maybe some run-ins. Uh, trying to herald some uh, un unforgivables into King Triton's um, sort of throne room, but he, he doesn't a lot. Like, he doesn't really like. He, he he personally doesn't like tattoos. He thinks tattoos are very silly. Uh, but if anyone anyone could probably guess that his his eyebrows are probably not natural. Um, he has he has actually <laughs> uh, had some eyebrow modifications um, permanently done. Just uh, pay he, he lose some of that money from King Triton to you know, upgrade himself a little bit, but he doesn't like to talk about it. It's totally natural. Um, they're just, uh, they're just flavorful. Incredible. Triton would approve, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, and Eric, Eric Shank, uh, you've got some stuff going on here and I see you're doodling a little bit too. I'm trying to, uh, but I, I have no control. I have. Oh God. <laughs> did you ever, did you ever tell us about your other tattoos? We have the law and ACAB at the bottom there. Uh, what what are those for? What do they mean to you? What what's going on? Um, the law is an old tattoo from my college days. <laughs> college. When I, when I had to, you know, sometimes you had to lay down the law, right? Yeah, and, where, where everyone strictly happens, called you Shank. <laughs> right when you when it, when when Shank laid down the law, you know, you got the message. Um, all crabs are bad. All crabs are bad. I love it. Badass crab. Yeah. And what are you what are you working on on the other other pincher here? Well, you know, just profound sadness. Nice. And anger all the time. But my drawing skills are um very, <laughs> very, very bad. But that's Crazy. the best that's the best you're gonna get. That was a late night tattoo at four in the morning after drinking a lot came out really Amazing. bad that's a tattoo of regret oh gosh <laughs> um and as we shift over to pearl who has uh, a new tattoo as well for us here uh just in our chat we're mentioning a couple uh fishy religions here the church of oceanology a fish copalian did i say that right <laughs> oh my gosh uh angler can that's a good one at church of cod uh i mean we can we can be part of all of these if you like. Uh, Pearl, tell us about your tattoos. I just added some stripes that kind of echo the shooting star because I think I'm gonna need to uh, flip and jump pretty fast to get out of this restaurant. So trying to give uh, some visual uh, inspiration to go with the the original shooting star and the happy face, which is kind of now matching Eric's. So that's amazing. <laughs> happy and sad and it's totally fishy sad. metal yeah absolutely uh amazing uh these are all great descriptions uh don't forget you guys do have reputation i'll give each of you another one for those uh incredible tattoos uh current uh pot at the moment uh we've got four for joe uh two for carl two for mark and three for Anne. Uh, again you guys can use these to change your dice uh whenever you'd like uh for all of those uh, higher roles that we've been kind of slowly inching towards. I don't want to over inundate any of you with any of them, but again, these that's what these uh, little Vincents are for. I call them Vincents because that's that's the Vincent over here in the Angelfish page, uh, where my example is. He's super cute. I like him. Um, and uh, you can also give each other tattoos by spending your points too, so don't forget to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, so uh, we're jumping back to our uh, map here. How is everyone doing? Where is everyone going? Uh, what's the plan? We've got Rodney in this corner down here uh, with Harold and uh, Chav and Twitchy up here uh, with Pearl and Eric. What's going on? I think we creep down the side. I think we make our way to the door. Cool. And if someone comes in, we rush out as fast as fish out of water can. <laughs> that's a very sensible suggestion and what i would do i'm surprised you don't want to bash one of these windows with your i don't know 
many blades. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I do like violence for violence sake. Incredible. I'm into breaking things. Wow. We could break the door on the way through. <laughs> I'm going to stab okay. Peter D in the toe. Cool. Just uh, yeah. So as you guys are making your way over, uh, you guys can hear uh, this table over here with these two businessmen. Uh, you hear that they are wrapping up their meeting. They were the first to come in. Um, so there is definitely uh, stuff going on here in terms of conversation about like, oh yeah, and uh, that that insurance claim and all that all that weird things that doesn't make any sense to you, but uh, they are starting to wrap up their lunch. We should we wait until cover. they're done or should we, are they distracted? They could also be cover for us. We could use hitch, either hitch a lift or just follow in their wake. I can clamp on to pant legs and shoelaces and <laughs> I like it. Awesome. Um and Harold and uh Chav, um, how are you guys doing? You guys are heading into the kitchen with Rodney, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is very doing strange good. because the party has split, so it's like I'm trying to make sure, like, huh, what is going on here and what is going on here? And okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so easily enough with the three rats, uh, they kind of squeeze through the door open, uh, pretty, uh, I guess they're pretty strong. I, I would say that they're pretty strong. So they're able to like do this, like swinging door thing and push their way through. Uh, this guy is probably over here, uh, preparing some things and, he, uh, Rodney kind of ushers you, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Right, right, right. Everybody be calm. Everybody be cool. We're going to get this done. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how many and, doors do we see when we enter the kitchen? Uh, all of these like uh, corner ones are uh, an array of like cupboards and refrigerators, um, and then these two are up here are tables. I would think I would think like uh, like uh, let me get my cool laser thing, which I haven't used at all. Up here, uh, there are probably a couple like cupboards and things on the walls as well. Um, but in terms of doors, those are all the doors you see. Is there any uh, windows? No windows. Ooh. Well, I guess we're pretty close to the to the biggest door, which would probably be like a walk-in fridge, I would guess. Yeah, probably this one right here. <laughs> so I just point at that. There's so I many just... doors. <laughs> I use my laser pointer to point at it. Be like, that's the one. <laughs> That one right there. <laughs> I actually, I actually have a laser. <laughs> so I think you guys have lasers too. So yay! Do we? Yeah, it's the last option on the very bottom. Of oh, we do too. Selection item. Yeah. Fun so with lasers. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, you guys point to this guy right here. Yeah. Um, it is a big fridge. Uh, the chef has not noticed any of you. He's doing his own thing over here. So uh, I, I, I don't know if this is too meta. Um, let me let me know. I'm, I'm happy to back off if it is, but I kind of want to set off the fire alarm. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> That's not too meta. That's genius. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know if Chef knows what a fire alarm is. Uh, <laughs> or has he seen perhaps anybody actually pull a fire alarm because that would be something that would give him the upper upper well, idea of that right uh, i think well, this is a reputable ref, uh, restaurant with safety drills and things like that like maybe one time we were hanging out in the tank and we saw that happen oh yeah 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 the that the lights be. went off and and all the the big meat creatures left right okay incredible uh well i mean now, if we started a real fire, <laughs> now we're now we're talking. Oh, it's Captain Chaos over there. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, back up over top here for a second too. Uh, Twitchy is kind of definitely very excited. Um, he's uh, fumbling between the two of you. Where are we going? Where are we going? Are we ready to go? To the door. Go. Yeah, I think Twitchy. To the door. Okay. Twitchy, Twitchy goes first. <laughs> Twitchy is absolutely going first. Right behind you, uh, Twitchy. <laughs> Uh, and the then, back send him on his way. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as these guys start to exit as well, uh, we'll move this guy back here. Uh, he's saying goodbye. These guys are coming this way. 
Um, and they're exiting the door. You see the door swing open and then swing closed. So you definitely know that 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 the door is open. Um, but you guys probably make it to about here. Um, and you see this these these two guys over here talking about, I guess, one guy's a construction hat on. So they're they're talking about architectural things, uh, stuff about buildings and and they're talking about this uh, 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 big building outside in the downtown core and on uh, their their plans to to do do things with that. So you're hearing a lot of really fun words that you guys don't usually hear because you guys are not usually out during the day. I imagine it's like peanuts where it's just like wah, 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 wah. Yeah. <laughs> wah, 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 exactly. Wah. So I here's this is my plan. Okay. I have I've got a plan. Um and the plan is because I don't really understand how heavy doors are or how heavy this door is or the idea of consequence, I think that the door opens, people come in, the waiter sits them, and in that moment, Eric, the crab, is going to brace himself in the as a door jam and hold the door open while everyone else escapes. Okay. Because I have a hard shell, or so I think. And I think it's hard enough to hold the door open. Okay. Um, to let all these people, the, all these other fishies that I really don't like, let them escape. <laughs> You're going to be a nice crab and let everybody else escape. Well, it's the only way, really. Okay. Uh, I, think you... that's, I think that's the plan. He may have right. a hard outer shell, but he's actually softy inside. Aww. <laughs> and, del and delicious. <laughs> and very delicious and very uh, and very squishy inside. Uh, all right. So I think uh, Eric is going to come up over this way and he's going to try to push on the door, I would assume. Maybe? Well, I, oh, I sh yeah, I don't think I'll be able to open it, um, but yeah. I'll try. All right. I could use my mighty uh, load-bearing bulk to try and push it, and then you could jam it. <laughs> Teamwork. All right. So Eric immediately tries to push the door, uh, and uh, it doesn't move, of course. Uh, no. You're used to this, because even when it is locked, it doesn't move. So it hasn't seem seemingly changed, but you did see people leave out yeah. this door. We're going um, to try to time it. All right. Uh, and so you guys are timing it. You guys, I guess you're going to park here and wait until someone comes by. Is that what the plan is? I, I think that's the, is there a better plan? I don't know. You tell me. I'm open to better plans than me being a door wedge. I love All it. Right. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, back in the kitchen, uh, this chef is going to come out this way and he's coming towards the, uh, the buffet tables here. Um, and then uh, kitchen crew, uh, the kitchen has a couple other chefs, uh, indescriptive guys who are, are just paying attention to their food. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys have seen uh, your refrigerator over here. Um, you guys are trying to open the door. What's the plan? Right. So uh, what I'm going to try and do is convince uh, uh, the mice who I'm not getting too close to because, God, they're weird up close. <laughs> <laughs> and Harold, like, they okay. are weird. So yeah. <laughs> what we need to do is is uh, uh, get all of the weird meat creatures to go out. And then once we do that, we can open that big door and make our escape. Cool. <laughs> are any of the uh, are any of the people um, currently like making food, you know, like frying anything with like hot oils? Uh, I would say so. Sure. Yeah, I can give that to you. <clears throat> okay. And do we see a, a fire alarm? Uh, you know what, for the purposes of, uh, this, uh, incredibly insane, uh, job that you want to do, uh, we will make one. <laughs> Let me do some cool, uh, fun stuff here. Hold on. Ah, that's not right. Um, uh, 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 we're going to make this red. Uh, here's your fire alarm. We're going to put it somewhere where it's going to make it hard for you to get to right there. So, so Chevy, you're saying that if we if we get one of the big fleshy ones to pull that thingy thingy, then everyone will leave. Right. Oh, that's even better than my idea. I thought we would pull it, but no. If we can get one of them to pull it, that's even better. Well, yeah. I mean, why don't we just cause I have this like laser beam. I'm good at shooting it in people's eyes. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 
and uh, and then like me and the rats can trip them so they'll like hit the alarm. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay, let's, yeah, let's do, do it. it. Amazing. Uh, so just to add a little bit of descriptions for our folks at home, uh, we've got a uh, green seahorse with some really cool tattoos and a pink guppy with some other really good tattoos in their kitchen here with uh, Rodney and the Rat Pack, a trio of uh, fun rats who have uh, uh, now all, all of them seem to be planning on pulling a uh, fire alarm that they now know is in the kitchen uh, to try to encourage people to uh, escape. In the kitchen, there are a couple doors here, which they're also planning on trying to jam open uh, in order to escape uh, into the cold uh, thereafter. I don't know. It's very fun, cool stuff about beyond there, which uh, are unknown. Um, yeah. <laughs> so long, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is dark, and I like it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I guess we're gonna try to time it with like one of the the people, one of the sous chefs. You know, I'm gonna try to hit them in the laser, laser in the eye, right when they are in the middle of like sort of going between two things. And then I guess uh, we got Chev and, and Rodney and, and the gang are gonna try to trip them so that they hit the fire alarm <laughs> on the way down. And if and if they instead just cause an, a, a a massive grease fire, that also is acceptable. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so I'm plugging a couple triangles in here for uh, our our other chefs that are probably doing other things. Uh, we'll plug two guys here. Um, yeah, and then uh, one of these guys is going to wander over and open the fridge. You guys see him open the fridge. The door to freedom. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, the, the door opens. And of course, you guys see what you see inside of a fridge. Uh, you see uh, layers of, uh, uh, of food uh, upon food in shelves, uh, with this like, yeah, with like a gust of cold air coming out. There is definitely a graveyard of uh, sea animals in here in various dead, frozen forms. Uh, he is I, holding the door open. I scream <laughs> in terror, <laughs> like I've just seen something out of my worst nightmares. Just <laughs> <laughs> little bubbly scream. Trauma points. Yeah, I think I freak out as well. And then I'm just like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I told you. I told you this is not a good place. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and then as as he, uh, this chef finds what he needs, the door closes and he wanders back to his little station over there. But you now know the secret of the door. All right. All right. Harold, Harold, hey, Harold, hey, Harold, hey, look, hey, look, yeah. we're still doing the plan. All right. We're still going to hey, do the yeah. plan. We're still going to do this, all right? You're with me? Yeah, we're going to get me. back at those big, fleshy things. Yes. For, for all of our lobster and shrimp brethren. All of them. <laughs> Maybe we can put some of them in this cold place. See what they think about Ooh. it. Okay, that's good plan. We'll see. <laughs> Amazing. All right, I think we're going to execute our plan. All right, you tell me from top to bottom what you want to do. Let's let's try to do it. And again, keep in mind, you guys can also move yourselves if you want. Like, this is totally uh, interactive, at least for us. Um, I'm angling myself so I can hit the. Uh, I'm going to try to laser from from Harold down to this guy because I think he's closest to the the fire alarm. Okay. Cool. And uh, I guess at the same time, I think. Chev and, and, and Rodney and the gang are going to try to get in tripping position. Okay. Uh, so Rodney kind of looks at you guys and goes, all right, well, this better be good. Scoots over here and waits for, for uh, uh, oh, I guess we're doing it up here, yeah? Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Rodney. It's going to be great. And I, I pull out the, I pull out the, 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 the uh, toothpick like, yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> What the hell is that? And he kind of points and looks at your little little toothpick contraption. Whoa, whoa, careful, careful. This is a gift from the UFO. <laughs> awesome. Um, so uh I think this guy over here uh is going to turn, make his way towards the fridge. Uh and he's coming over here. Oh. Uh, we're good. <sighs> Rodney is going to uh, pull taut a string that he has uh, preemptively uh, tied uh, across <laughs> the kitchen. Uh, this guy <laughs> uh, is going to go, whoa, and he tumbles a little bit. 
almost dropping his plate of food that he's carrying here. Uh, what's next? I'm gonna end with in the in the eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Laser, All right. laser into the eyeballs. I think that's a laser roll. So, uh, like, give me a blade stat. We're gonna make this. Hmm. A four. Is that possible? I think you might have have some fishy okay. fishy. Uh, I rolled a six. That's good. I have a negative five blade stat. So I'm at I'm at one. I use okay. both of my reputation points. That's that that, that puts me at uh three okay uh you know what i think that's close enough what i think what happens is your laser comes across uh it is a little bit more messy than you planned it it happens uh you don't hit an eyeball but you definitely get a, a like a, a brief like red streak across the face for a moment uh this guy uh wiggles a little bit and like holy shit what the frick just happened uh he's doing a little bit of a spin uh it's a little bit confusing for him right now uh there is a moment of chaos what's happening and that's when I stab him in the ankle. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think that's another weapon roll. Uh, give me a blade stat. We'll go four as well. And you've got a lot of points there, sir, to spend. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to spend them all. Uh, do, 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 do my... We'll cut out back to the front door in a second here. I think Joey you muted it again. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll, um, I rolled a three minus five, uh, is of course minus two. I'll toss in my reputation points, which brings it up to a two. I don't know if that's enough. Cool. Uh, your challenge was four, so that's still pretty close. I think what's going to happen is describe again what you're doing here. Uh, you're stabbing a foot. Uh, are you getting any part of a right. foot, ankle, toe? What are you trying to go for? So, so I am the I'm the 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 pink fish with the with the yellow fins uh, and the cool tattoos. I uh, I symbolically have uh, a um, a giant meat thing tattooed on one of my flippers to represent my uh, my Anglican faith. Uh, and <laughs> as soon as I see this this big floppy thing walking around, I just I feel so offended. Like ah, you are so unworthy of your of your meat, your giant meat hood. <laughs> so I I think I just go a little crazy it just stamp 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 uh, all right but of course uh, i don't understand what shoes are so yeah I, I think most of this tabbing just goes right into the into the shoes yeah i i think definitely you make a really uh a hearty attempt at it and i think because you are stabbing with a toothpick i am going to say that your toothpick breaks uh against this uh human shoe um and uh this meat person uh does look down and notice that there is a pink fish on the floor what the fuck what's happening Holy god shit. in heaven <laughs> so you are now weaponless uh and i think um at some point you probably should if you want to find another weapon but you have been spotted uh we'll give you a minute to think about all of that uh as we cut back to uh the front door here what's going on with you guys I'm wondering what happened to um, my fishy acquaintances that aren't with us. And if I knew that there was so much rage going on in the kitchen, oh. I would appreciate it so much. If I knew uh, there was a, a frantic stabbing with a toothpick, I, it would fill me with, like, <laughs> spite, just beautiful spite. Um, Incredible. But I don't know what's going on in the kitchen. I can give this to you. You do notice that this chef guy turns around and goes back and goes, what the fuck? What the heck was ah. that? Uh, and he's definitely noticing some commotion. Uh, he's now upside down. Uh, he notices some commotion coming from the kitchen, turns around, uh, books it back to the kitchen to see what's going on. So you guys do know that there's some craziness we're, going on back there. We're free if someone walks in. That's that's our moment of... of yeah. Moment is now. Jeez. Incidentally, do we know the differences between a dolphin and a porpoise? Uh, Pearl probably does, but I don't. I do. Enlighten us. Two two main differences between a porpoise and a dolphin. The one is physical. The tooth shape of dolphins are triangles, and the tooth shape of porpoises are spades. That's difference number one. Difference number two is social. Dolphins are pack. They're social animals. Porpoises are loners. 
there's a difference between porpoises and dolphins. So spiritually, Eric is a porpoise. <laughs> if not, <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Pearl's definitely a dolphin. Well, because she is a social animal, as you said, she's going to uh, make a jump for the door and try and push it so that the smaller creatures can get, make their way out. If you get it open, I'll wedge it. Exactly. Teamwork. And then Twitch can make it a bolt for freedom. Twitch, Twitch will just do what Twitch does. Probably Twitch. Ooh, that's an eight. Okay. Uh, challenge rating was supposed to be a 10. Uh, but that's pretty close. Uh, I think uh, you uh, give this door a couple good rams uh, of your skillful uh, jumping ability, and you notice that the door does move slightly. Is there any uh, way that we can combine our resources to get the door open? Mm, do you have something creative in mind? Um, I'm a benevolent DM. I can give you something if it's cool. I mean, if I gave Eric a lift, like in a sort of a free willy situation riding on <laughs> that would be heavier all right so uh i guess eric is potentially going to consent to being uh put on top of a porpoise if oh, i the, must for the, if for I the must. porpoise of opening a door <laughs> the purpose the porpoise of opening it all That's right worth the point somewhere okay Maybe what we'll do here is I'm trying to see how we can make this work. Uh, we'll do a combined fish score. Uh, the original score, uh, the original difficulty was 10. So we'll add one. Maybe. Yeah, one. We'll make it 11. Combined score. Combined score. Twitch, Twitchy is standing nearby, hoping to, to squeeze through. And we're doing my fish stat with that, so we're adding three? Yeah. Yeah. So combined fish score for the two of you. Is it a new roll? Yeah, let's do a new roll. I will roll. And so you're also adding three. So we're adding yeah, six. Yeah, so it's plus six. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. I rolled a two. Uh, six, nine. Uh, I guess we're just going to bounce off this door. I knew it. I hate this. All right. So uh, boss, boss lady over here is bad at math. What's your combined score? Uh, nine. We didn't make 11. Total. Okay. Uh, so you definitely see that when you guys, uh, I mean, you do have a cramp on your back now, right? So when you yeah. jump, it's a little bit more difficult, uh, but you do manage to get it open just long enough that Twitchy sees his moment. Uh, he tries to squeeze through the door. Um, <laughs> and just as the door comes closed, you watch in horror. Oh no. Oh, no. As your little shrimp friend gets smushed and stuck in <laughs> the door. Oh God. Twitchy! Twitchy, we uh, barely knew you. Yeah, there is a little bit of like a <laughs> as as he gets smushed and uh, you you watch his little shrimp body get and now he's stuck in the door. The door is fully closed. He is sandwiched in between the two doors. Uh, this got dark real fast, but you know, <laughs> someone had to get injured. I'm, I'm re play for God's sake. Eric is re reconsidering his plan of being the door wedge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should use your your weapon, or like we could put my spork in the door. I don't need it. Incredible. But uh, my is shell is much harder than a shrimp shell, that's for sure. All right. So you, there is also some out. chaos going on in the kitchen. Um. So you guys do see the chef guy come back out and goes. He's he's swearing in French and doing all the crazy weird things that chefs do when they're angry, uh, which they get angry also very often. Uh, and uh, there's probably some commotion going on in here. What is what is our kitchen crew doing? This guy's uh, uh, upside down on his head sort of thing. Uh, there's lasers going around. Uh, he has no idea what's going on, uh, but he has spotted uh, Chev. So we didn't successfully uh, tip him over at all. No, he did, a, he did stumble. So he's almost just about going to drop his food sort of idea, uh, whatever he's holding in his hands. So I know I know what Chev is going to do, but uh, I want to hear from Harold first. I mean, Harold's just freaking out and and doesn't really understand like the 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 laser's not doing as well as as, as he's used to. Um, I think I think he's he's probably just going to continue to try to distract to try to save his his friend. Cool. Uh, I think in this, this moment where, uh, Chev, if you want to do one final thing before someone tries to reach down and yeah. pick you up. So 
Chev Chev has had his faith shattered, uh, uh, <laughs> literally, as his as his toothpick shatters, uh, and his reaction to this is just blind rage. So, I'm going to see if I can find something stabby in the kitchen. That's that's step one. And then step two is to try and stab the giant meat creatures. Okay. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely see Rodney and the crew kind of duck a little bit closer into the walls here as they try to keep from being spotted. Uh, they are, uh, this chef guy is going to reach down and pick you up. Uh, is there any reaction from you? What's what's happening? Uh, he's going I, I try to put you back in the tank. So I try and slap and or bite his hands. Okay, give me a fish roll. Uh, we'll do difficulty three. Can I assist with my laser? Uh, yeah. Uh, get well. That'll be a that'll be a roll me roll me your blade stat, and we'll we'll see how this rolls out. Okay, so we both roll blade. Yeah, okay. uh, I think oh, no, Chev will roll fish because you're fighting fish. him. Uh, okay. I'm roll. I rolled a four with bonuses. Oh, incredible! I have a negative three. <laughs> so your laser shoots wide. Uh, uh, it's it's a bit of a show over here. Boo boo. Uh, but uh, you do bite him, and he goes, "Ow!" Flicks. And you fly and land on the table here. Uh, this guy has probably wandered to the side because we'll give you a little bit of time with that uh, for, very successful roll. For some reason, after I bite the chef, I suddenly like sacre bleu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I think Harold, seeing that this is like an ineffective strategy, is going to uh, like just at the top of Harold's lungs call out to hit the one person the one thing that he knows can do violence and he says he just yells eric at the top of his lungs incredible uh no roll needed uh <clears throat> you you yell at the top of your lungs uh, i'm a herald so you know yeah it's it's loud uh i would say uh just because i i want to see this succeed uh yeah pearl and harold uh no pearl and uh eric you guys hear harold scream for eric uh, but also, this chef guy also hears some sort of jarbled, uh, <laughs> like trumpet, uh, go off. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what the heck was that? And he's he's making his way back there too. Comes in, uh, sees uh, there's this this madness going on uh, everywhere. Uh, uh, his kitchen is in a disarray. There is uh, flying food at this point. I think everywhere he's coming in. Uh, what are you guys doing? What's happening? Oh my gosh, shrimp goo. <laughs> yeah there's some horror in front of us and i hear friends in trouble so i think uh pearl's gonna whirl around and start majestically leaping towards the kitchen and eric is in tow sorry <laughs> <laughs> i guess i'm still on your back mm -hmm. oh i really oh, yeah, hate, you guys i really are. hate this i just want out we're going, <laughs> i just said we're going the wrong way <laughs> yeah but you hear sounds of chaos and violence in the kitchen that's true. And you've just been hollered for. So. It's the wrong way. <laughs> uh, you guys definitely, you get to the door. Uh, you can peek through like the crack in between the doors and you guys definitely see Harold over here. What do you do? Come in. We got to save. We got to save uh, Chev. Like, and, and, then, and, then, and then there's some like explosion that we're going to do. I don't know. It's going to be great. Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep hopping in and... Hopefully Eric's ready to launch onto that uh, two legs. We are, we are doomed. <laughs> uh, so just to give our, our, our friends back home a little bit of a snip, uh, we have a, a dead shrimp stuck in the doorway here, uh, courtesy of our friends Eric the Crab and Pearl the Dolphin. Uh, there is a swoosh up front uh, on the heavy doors, uh, but they have come back into the kitchen now to uh, try to assist with the... Uh, the other uh, tank friends here, uh, Chev and uh, Harold, uh, you guys come into this kitchen and you definitely you see the array of of doors that make up the uh, the cabinets and the fridge. Uh, you see uh, these two uh, chef boys in the middle of the kitchen kind of just flustered a little bit. They're both carrying big trays of things. Uh, food is falling uh, all around them. Uh, it's a mess. Uh, you also see this like head chef man who kind of comes in and out uh, from the buffet tables and the carving tables. Uh, he's hanging out here trying to figure out what the heck is going on. 
um, uh, close to where there is a fire alarm above uh, uh, the, uh, 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 one of the far walls where you can kind of pull and get the fire alarm to go off. Uh, you've got a trio of uh, Rodney and his Rad Pack uh, trying to hide, trying not to get, get caught or seen uh, from the floor. You guys do not see your friend Chef. He's missing somewhere. You have no idea where. He's on a table, of course. Uh, he has uh, been uh, flung from the grasp of one of our chef friends onto a nearby uh, cutting board table uh, where they're they're preparing food. Uh, holy moly, that's a mouthful. <laughs> what, is, what is everyone doing? Harold, Harold's identifying the table that Chef was flung to with his laser light. All right, so we're getting some laser light back up here. Fire the crab! Ah! Crab the way! <laughs> Uh, I'm not quite sure what everyone's expecting people to do here. <laughs> the yeah. offense. You've got a steak knife and two pinchers and a bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, you two have come in and you're faced with Harold, who is uh, trying to do his best to, to tell you what's been happening in here. Um, there is chaos in this kitchen. You guys, we gotta save, we gotta save Chef, like, and then, and I see like Harold or uh, sorry, um, uh, Eric is on top of Pearl. And it's like, yeah. can we, can we, can you, can you flip him up there? Of course. <laughs> on top of the table. Yeah, I'll uh, attempt to uh, tail boost you. I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's do a uh, fish stat. We'll do six. Fish stat of six. With my fish stat, that's a seven amazing uh so you guys watch pearl just like bounce uh eric uh back towards her tail and as her tail flips up to smack him to swing him up onto the table uh eric flies uh gracefully as gracefully as uh dolphins uh like to do their 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 fun tricks uh flings eric onto the table he lands on all six legs uh perfect landing uh 10 out of 10 uh Eric, you see Chev uh, has flopped onto, uh, uh, conveniently, a cutting board on this corner of uh, this table here. I am an unwilling participant in all this at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close to getting out. I was <laughs> right out of the door. Okay. Um, with all of the alacrity I can summon, I scuttle over to my friend... And I grab the one pincer and I throw myself off the table towards the back. So you're going, you're like kind of going in between the table and the wall. Yeah. And we're going to try and get down there back onto the floor. Amazing. Uh, oh, it is dusty down here. Yes. I would say no roll needed, but yeah, you guys are uh, wet sea creatures. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys drag with you some uh, morsels of uh, spoiled food, I'm sure, that's been missed. Uh, and uh, you guys are effectively, I'll give it to you for free. You guys are effectively hiding uh, behind this table here. Uh, I would say that uh, your two comrades out here, uh, Harold and Pearl, definitely see you guys dip behind there uh, as these two chefs conveniently uh, try to right themselves and go back to their tables, seemingly uh, unaware. Eric, we have no time. Listen, we have got to pull that alarm. We have got to pull the fire. We've got to pull the thing so the 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 unworthy meat creatures leave. I'm so angry. <laughs> Are you not curious why his accent changed? I was just gonna say, not only did his accent change, but he's just yeah, like, was, I'm was, so was... angry. The end. It's... That's it. <laughs> it's sorry with this this kind of strange kind of Soho meets Aussie accent. <laughs> it's like an Englishman in Australia and then has turned into this quasi vague European. <laughs> Incredible. I'm, I'm going to say that that's what I was trying to do the whole time and not that I'm bad at accents. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I I don't think we need I don't think we can pull the fire alarm. I think we make a run for the front door. I wait for someone to open it and we rush out. 
Awesome. And I think uh, and at some at some point, too, you guys notice, of course, there's one of these chef guys who comes back to the fridge. Uh, these two guys, despite the, the momentary uh, chaotic uh, moment, uh, have gone back to doing their jobs that they're paid for <laughs> without much thought of the fact that one of them just tried to get stabbed, uh, just just almost got stabbed in the foot. Uh, and there was a laser pointer at some point. Uh, this guy has now opened the fridge uh, and Pearl from where you, you are, you can definitely look into the fridge. You, you feel a cold gust behind you uh, as as you, you watch this guy open this door. Uh, so you get that kind of same uh, image that uh, Harold and and uh, Chef got earlier. The horror. See, the horror. we have to take revenge <laughs> on them. This is more. This is about more than just escaping at this point. We have to take them out. <laughs> what has happened to you? <laughs> say, say. Uh, uh, Pearl, can you just flat flip me up to that to that that bar up there? I'm supposed to pull it. That's what that's what Chev said. Definitely. Just in peace, Chev. I just assume that if you're out of my vision, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. One tail flip coming up. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. So you guys are gonna make your way over to the like, yeah. fire alarm. I want to try to get up there and just use my tail to like hang off the fire alarm and try to pull it myself. Okay. All right. Um, let's do get some it, fish stat stuff flip, over here. Tail, tail flip up there. <laughs> All right. Do do some do some fish stat stuff for me. We'll get uh, Pearl to do a fish stat to fling uh, our friend uh, Harold up to the very high, uh, incredibly exorbitantly high uh, fire alarm. We'll say that difficulty will be six. Uh, and, uh, for Harold, uh, you're, I don't know if this would be even considered a fish stat because it's more of just how heavy are you? <laughs> are you heavy enough to pull this? Uh, hmm. I have, I have a, quite a bit of a belly cause I've been in the courts my whole life and, uh, definitely have enjoyed the, the fruits of, you know, the court sort of lifestyle. Um, so, so as a seahorse goes, it's very like, thump and then round and then down you know like one of those very very like snowman luminous. Well, every, li every, every little bit will kelp, <laughs> oh, kelp i caught yeah. it that's 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 a good one we got it i'll give it to you uh amazing uh so i think we'll give you a six as well harold <laughs> cool i know uh well that was easy i rolled a six on the dice uh so fish stat that's a nine to, to flip up there dang easy uh you are so freaking graceful uh, you you execute these with uh, precision and practice uh, without much fail. Uh, easily enough, Harold uh, is able to catch on to the latch here. I'll just put him there like that. Uh, so uh, for folks at home, uh, I think, I imagine anyways, that uh, Harold is upside down. Uh, he's got a laser pointer uh, in between. Ah. Yeah, in, in hooked onto his, fin, his, his, his tail somewhere. Uh, also multi multitasking and also hooking upside down onto uh, the edge of a fire alarm. It's very epic. I rolled a, a three on trying to, you know, be heavy enough for the fire alarm. I'm not sure how that works out. I think you are definitely not heavy enough. Just trying to, as, as a, uh, uh, again, metagame human who has maybe not perhaps almost oh. pulled a fire alarm before in my life. <laughs> I would suspect even uh, the biggest of uh, seahorses might have a little trouble pulling this. Ah, but Harold Harold has a plan. He he he's okay. gonna <clears throat> sort of use his laser as like a last ditch effort to try to attract the attention of someone to try to get them to try to grab him and by doing so grab the fire alarm. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, so what do you do to try to get these guys' attention? I'm assuming you're talking about this poor sucker over here. Yeah, yeah, just shining laser and, and swinging around and trumpeting. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll do f that's uh, that seems easily enough. Uh, I I don't need you to roll for that. I think I'll give it to you. Uh, you trumpet, uh, and this guy does flip around. Uh, he definitely sees you. He'll, what the heck? Uh, and he's making his way over to you. Uh, before that, all that happens, uh, our friends behind the table. What are you guys doing? Uh, you guys see Rodney here. Uh, Rodney and the Rat Pack has kind of come around the corner. What the heck are you guys doing? You guys trying to escape too? Get out of here! Um, Spitting out all of this grossness back here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
you know, we've been back there a couple times too. But the uh, doors to the, I, I did not need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> the doors to the kitchen are they the 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 swingy doors? Swingy doors, yeah. So we can uh, we can go through those on our own. Uh, I think it would take two of you at least to push the door, but yes. Okay. Same way that uh, Pearl and uh, Eric came in, they I, I would assume that they were together when they pushed it, so yeah. I gave it gave it to them. Okay. Uh, I think we wait to see if the fire alarm gets that's pulled, and if it gets pulled, we make our break. Then, if it doesn't get pulled, we go. Cool. And so I, I'm, you guys are just kind of peeking around the corner at at the Excellent. shenanigans I, happening up here. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go and try and help my my comrade Harold. He has. He has worked so hard. I'm going to see if I can help him pull that final, that final lever to execute this such a bad idea. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. <laughs> All right. What, what what are you doing to help him? What what's 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 your? So, you know what I because you know it, the positioning is perfect. I actually want to like come from behind the table. Okay. Uh, run, <laughs> run up Pearl. And like jump off her head and grab on to grab on to Harold and, and try and like see if the both of us can pull that down. Okay. Uh so you're gonna ramp yourself all the way up the back of uh your lovely dolphin friend. That is my my totally well thought out and excellent plan. <laughs> Are you going to say anything to Pearl? Is she gonna be prepared for this? Or she's just gonna not know and she's <laughs> going to see this pink tiger striped uh guppy fish run at her <laughs> keeping in mind that this chef friend also is heading towards uh the fire alarm shenanigans as well i i was like come around the corner i'm going to say uh per chance is this seat taken <laughs> <laughs> i'm always ready to help a friend so i'm fine with it cool okay pearl's a smart girl she she knows exactly what's happening as this guppy runs towards her uh, and is trying to ramp himself up. Uh, I'm going to give you a fish stat roll, uh, Chev. We're going to make this a an eight because we got to do something hard here. No one's been injured enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Have I gotten any <laughs> reputation points? Because I think the last I saw, I spent them all. Yes, you spent them all. Current current uh, board uh, uh, details up here is Joe and Carl have both spent all of their reputation points. Mark and Ed each have three. Yeah, I need to start using mine. Wish yeah. I had that when we were at the front door. You could maybe use yours to help the boost. Yeah, well, I'll see how the roll is because it's a re-roll, right? Um, it is to add to your uh, numbers. So, for example, oh. if the difficulty is six and you rolled a total of five, you can spend one to bump it to a six, for example. Right. The so. uh, the roll with my fish bonus is a four. Okay. Uh, so I think what happens is uh, you run. You uh, run on top of Pearl. I think that's going to be flawless because so far Pearl has done everything perfectly. So we're just going to stick to that. Uh, it's very graceful. She's held on. She's super strong. Uh, and you make a jump. I think Pearl even gives you a little bit of a tail bump uh, yeah. to try to get you a little bit higher. Uh, I'll give that to you for free because I'm nice. Uh, yeah. And uh, you reach up for uh, your uh, seahorse friend. Uh, and you see this chef guy coming towards you. Um, and uh, he sees a streak of pink, and uh, before even reaching out to grab Harold, suddenly this pink fish lands right directly into his palm. So now, essentially what's happened is this chef was trying to reach for Harold and suddenly finds himself with a fistful of pink fish. Chef, you're Rich alive! <laughs> Chef is now in the grasp of this uh, this chef. Now, once again, for the second time in like what ten minutes, <laughs> he is he's being being held onto by uh, a, a big person. This is not my day. <laughs> uh, perhaps not for long, my friend Harold. Uh, yeah, and and because uh, this is more fun for me than it is for you, uh, he's going to take you. He's like, okay, well, you don't belong here. You belong in the tank. And he's going to start walking you back towards the tank. I, I completely I, forgetting that Harold is hanging from a fire quick, alarm. Quick, Pearl, pull, pull me hard. Reach up and pull me down. We can do this. Okay. 
All right, if Pearl's going to make a jump for it, because it is a little bit of a distance, uh, give me another fish stat roll. We'll make it uh, seven. Oh, I rolled a one, so that's a four with my fish stat. No, uh, you make a couple cute little jumps. Uh, it's very cute, because uh, you're freaking adorable, uh, but you are not able to reach. He's a little bit too high. Did you, say you, threw, you threw him too well. Did you say it was a five to, to meet it? Uh, nope, seven. Ugh, yeah, even my uh, my points won't help. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for the sake of uh, longevity, uh, we are putting Chev back into the tank. Be my uh, comrades! Find your freedom! Egalité! Fichité! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What's Eric doing? Um, stewing. Uh, <laughs> we were so close. You guys were close. And you know and what? I'm just, I'm just filled with anger all the time now. You know what? I will even go one step further. And because of that epic attempt, I will reward you all with a tattoo. Uh, everybody takes a couple minutes to add a tattoo. We'll say we'll, we'll do a rotation round because I, I'd love to get, get you guys tattoo each other. Um, we're going to say, Chev, you get to tattoo, uh, Pearl, Pearl, you get to tattoo, uh, Harold and Harold, you get to tattoo, um, Eric, Eric, you get to tattoo, uh, Chev. So everybody gives everybody else a tattoo, uh, because, uh, this is amazing. You guys are doing amazing. This is so much fun. I hope you guys are having fun. And uh, this is your last chance to donate, guys. Uh, please donate. Uh, we're doing this for a great cause. Uh, we're having lots of fun being fish. Um, and uh, we're going to see how this uh, plays out in a second. But uh, we'd love to get some more tattoos. Uh, what's everybody thinking for tattoos, guys? I'm adding some laser marks to Harold's uh, previous lucky horseshoe, just in honor of the laser pointer. Nice. So it's going pew, pew, pew. <laughs> accentuating the butt you know yeah. how we do i have in in honor of our poor fallen comrade i have given uh, uh pearl a tattoo of uh twitchy the twitchy the shrimp twitchy the shrimp r.i.p oh Okay, I guess. Yes, so that's what I want. Amazing. You guys, you guys look incredible. Okay, let's see if I can do this here. And I think I'll even go as far because again. I'm a nice person. I feel like I have to keep saying that because then uh, <laughs> if, if I, I, I did just kill one of my NPCs. So uh, reputation points for everybody. God, I need to start using mine. You do have a lot. I know. And I guess as some of these tattoos get uh, pulled together, um, just a reminder for folks who are watching, uh, please donate, uh, also too, if you want to look back at, uh, what's been going on, uh, with, uh, some stuff, fun stuff, uh, with, uh, what's coming up next, uh, after our, our game here, we have, uh, gay orcs, which is going to be also super fun, uh, so make sure you stick around for that, um, lots of more fun stuff tonight, I think there's also Regency ladies, uh, so be sure you stick around there. Those guys are, are going to be uh, lots of fun to watch. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, maybe not as great as Stabby Fish. <laughs> uh, but you know, uh, it's going to be fun. More excuses to throw your money at us because, uh, uh, you know, it's all for a good cause. Uh, my husband's trying to sneak me notes here. Uh, he says that, uh, Pearl needs a human tattoo. Oh, right, because humans get dolphin tattoos. 
<laughs> well, I mean, I think, tell your husband that he's gonna have to donate because we need another donation before we have tattoos so. oh yeah that's right we gotta we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta donate yeah that's right don't get to break the rule <laughs> all right i added my tattoo to to eric eric ah oh, crazy Eric, how did you get that tattoo? <laughs> Very appropriate. I I'm, I'm I'm surprised it's not fish bones. It's it's like a a big one's bones. True. There's a story there I can tell. Yeah, we got to get the story from Mark as uh, Mark as well about Eric. He looks really badass though. Not gonna lie. Well, you I'm know. really curious about Chev's new tattoo. Yeah, I think uh, that's the that's the one that gets revealed when the um, when the toothpick is shattered. Uh, you know, you know, Chev Chev tries to be like he's you know upbeat and everything, but in reality, he's just as he's just as dark in his heart as Eric. It's time his, to stop pretending. <laughs> his, his eyebrow is more like this, I think. The the angry angry eyes. Yeah. Still cute though. You can't you can't uncute that uh, that pink and yellow fish with the tiger stripes. Just even with the frowny face and the angry eyebrows, still just so cute. <laughs> awesome. And we got some lasers on Harold's uh, incredibly amazing uh, horseshoe tattoo, and the fun shrimp on Pearl. Very Here's cool. Scary. That was dark. <laughs> that was a dark time yeah <laughs> memorial tattoo we love it we love to see it uh and we're still waiting on the story from eric shank about his uh is that a big person head piece i don't know what you would call a skull in, in fish terms things got really dark after college <laughs> saw some things <laughs> saw some things, did some things. Saw, saw some very big things happen. <laughs> Had to make some money. Some things that even we haven't seen. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's in the display tank because he's labeled as poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> Can't eat this one. I am as toxic as they come. Smart. Amazing. All right. Uh, as you guys tidy up those uh, last tattoos here, just a reminder of where we are. Back to our game. Uh, we are uh, in the kitchen still. Uh, we have uh, Harold hanging upside down from a fire alarm. Uh, Pearl just at the base of this fire alarm, hoping to catch him or maybe catch uh, catch the, the tip of his nose to try to pull him lower. Who knows? Uh, Rodney and the Rat Pack are behind uh, this uh, prep table here. Uh, we also have Eric behind the other prep table, just kind of peeking around at what's going on. Uh, Chev has got himself caught. Uh, dumped back into the display tank uh, where uh, he can see from that view that uh, the restaurant has still has uh, quite a few people uh, in there. Uh, they're uh, busy having having a lunch, uh, chatting away about uh, whatever people chat about. Who knows? Uh, and uh, we have our uh, waiter friend here uh, doing his rounds. Uh, he's having a mighty fine day. Uh, our boss chef down here is refilling uh, some of the buffet tables. Uh, along the far wall of the restaurant. Uh, he's got a big scowl on his face. He's got some drama going on in the kitchen. Uh, and uh, we have uh, one of our chefs who have just plunked uh, Chev back into the tank. Uh, he's making his way back into the kitchen here. Um, and uh, one of our other chef friends here who just opened the fridge to reveal uh, some more dead uh, animals and corpses and stuff uh, is also making his way back to his table up here to uh, continue whatever he was prepping uh and uh r.i.p uh to our shrimp friend who is jammed in the door uh shrimp goo all over the place uh he uh, uh twitchy died uh trying to make a, a grand escape uh hopefully our fish friends uh fare better than our uh, shrimp friend did uh what's everyone doing i think we should abandon the plan of the fire of the fire um alarm and make a break for the front door or you could stop being crabby and come help us. <laughs> uh, are, are you are you hanging on on Harold? 
Yeah, I'm I'm trying to lift my spork up to reach him. <laughs> and I'm like swinging back and forth, like with my trumpet, trying to trying to bite it. Come on, Eric, help us. Okay, God. Uh, oh, God in heaven. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> you, I'll, I'll give it to you. Yay. Continue. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Um, so I scuttle over there and um sideways of course and um i need to i will if you want to boost me up there my added weight i will do that i will do the thing i will join you in your shenanigans all right there's a tail flip coming your way all right uh hmm okay uh we're going to uh get pearl to make a fish stat roll uh You've been doing this great, so uh, we'll keep it at the six. That's Don't been working well me. for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, and for Eric, let's do. Hmm. You've got two pinchers. Uh, two. We'll make it a five for you. Fish that. Fish that to grab, to grab onto uh, Harold's nose here. Okay, I only rolled a five, so I'm going to finally use a reputation point to. Yay! Okay, and I'm supposed to. You want me to roll a five? Yes. See if you can grab onto Harold's nose. Uh, five. Um, incredible. Uh, so uh, you guys see uh, Pearl uh, flip with her tail, as uh, we've all seen her do already, uh, gracefully uh, swinging our our uh, crab friend, uh, Eric, uh, as he does a really cool backflip, uh, and with the end of his pinchers, catches uh, Harold's nose. Uh, Harold, uh, you can no longer speak for the moment, uh, but you do have a crab hanging off of you. Uh, As this was happening, Harold was heralding the arrival of Eric. Oh, Where is uh, Dave? It's so it's so good for me to just like clamp your mouth. Shut. It's just like, and a hunk. <laughs> I'm a, a little a little more tight tightly than 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 I need to, um, <laughs> just because. And I'm trying to put all my weight behind this, kind of like pulling, pulling, pulling. All right. Uh, ever since this fire alarm came into play, because again, unplanned. Uh, but, uh, I like to think that I do my job well. Uh, I have had a difficulty level for how this pull happens. So for the moment, you haven't pulled it yet. It's still not heavy enough, but you are hanging in like a string now, uh, of, of, uh, crab and seahorse from this, uh, uh, fire alarm. So <laughs> I'm going to keep what I had in mind for how this fire alarm actually gets pulled. Uh, and I guess I think also too, you guys see Rodney behind this uh, table uh, with his rat pack. They're watching uh, in awe of what is happening right now. Uh, they're just enjoying themselves more more so than like offering to help or offering any sort of advice. Uh, Chef, what are you doing? You're in the tank all alone. Okay, so uh, the mistake we made before was not motivating the lobsters enough. So I'm going to try and jump into the lobster tank and get their help. <laughs> All right. Uh, fish roll. Uh, give, we'll give it a five because I want you to succeed. Uh, that's a two. Total two. Total two. Uh, you make it to the floor. Flop upside down. Uh, not quite there. Uh, maybe you're tired. I'm Who so knows? tired of being on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the only... I am, I am tired. <laughs> Old school. Incredible. And uh, you're tired. <laughs> you do you do see the lobsters. Uh Claire uh Clarence is right up to the edge of the uh, lobster tank. And uh let me see what, what advice he has for you. He leans over and goes, take time to know yourself. <laughs> Wiggles his nose a little bit. Goes back to whatever he was doing. See, he should have got stuck in the door. <laughs> I don't think he leaves the lobster tank if he doesn't have to. When his time comes, he'll be filled with regret. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a higher chance that he's going to end up on a plate than in the door, but you know. He will rue the day. Um, so we're clearly not heavy enough. For the record, I did catch that. So you are now at uh, six reputation points, Mark. <laughs> can we, uh, can we like put all of our effort combined? Like we have three of us hanging. Can we just sort of all like 
assist each other and do like one epic pull. Sounds like friendship, so I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an unwilling participant. Um, we got to convince the mice, the rod our rodent friends, to somehow help us. They are, uh, for for all intents and purposes, uh, you know how people uh, are like when they watch, they're eating popcorn, that that sort of meme. <laughs> Uh, right. They're they're doing their own version of that behind this table here, just kind of watching you guys. They're Michael uh, Jackson in the theater. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, precisely that. <laughs> um, because I'm saving up my reputation points for the for the door, right? Uh huh. Because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need something going on there. So I'm I don't want to use mine unless I really have to because I want us to succeed in the end. Um. I think we abandoned this. I think we just make a bolt for the door. So does Eric I, fall from? I let Harold's go. Nose? I, I let go. We. Harold, what do you think? Don't put me in an awkward position. I can't handle Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Harold. Harold has sensed that he, he's attempted this uh, strategy too many times and it has failed. I think he follows uh, follows Eric, um, and and is still recovering from his nose. He can't quite trump it yet. No, I, I squished the hell out of that thing. <laughs> hey, you know what? Just because uh, we'll give you an, a wound for that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Friendly PvP. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe we'll change this color. So, all right, continue. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll we'll try to go after, you know, go with Eric's plan, just just bum rush the front door with all of us and just sort of try to and wait for it to open. We rush out. If need be, I will thrust myself in there as a door jam, hoping my shell will keep along with my reputation points. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will gamble it all in one moment. Amazing. Uh, so I will I will sense it then. Then you guys are gonna make your way out of the kitchen. Yes. Cool. Uh, 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 okay, Chef, you're on the floor. What are you doing over there? You turn my mic on. Uh, so I have a moment of introspection on the floor because you know Chester did get a good point. Take time to know yourself. <laughs> Who am I? I am a fish. I am a guppy. What do I do? I talk smack and I get people to do stupid things. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like I know what to do. So I am going to try and jump into the lobster tank again. Okay. Uh, you are now on the floor. So the fish stat will be up to seven. All righty. Let's see how this goes. Uh, so I get a five, uh, four on the die, five uh, plus one, five. Um, I've got one reputation point. I believe so. Yes, you do. Reputation point. Okay. Um, so, you know what? I'll spend the reputation point. All right. That doesn't quite get me to seven, but it gets me to six. How close do I get? Uh, I think you scrambled up to the sides. Uh, I think you've, you've made this attempt before, so it's not incredibly difficult, uh, but you do catch the corner of the lobster tank. Uh, you're hanging out. You can pull yourself in. Um, mm. probably not too much effort to do that. Uh, I think it's... from, I think from here, I'll speak to the lobsters. Friends, <laughs> friends, it is time. I know you have dreamed of this, your short lives. It is time. The open water is right there. Say it with me, everyone. All crustaceans are bodacious. <laughs> All crustaceans are bodacious. All crustaceans are uh, chant going and see if I can get them energized. All right. I think a couple lobsters look over to you. Uh, Clarence definitely notices you because he notices everything. Uh, and he goes, in order to get, you have to give. <laughs> what a wise lobster he is, huh? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I'm going to assume that this is like most fish tanks and that the the fish food is like nearby. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to try and knock the fish food into the lobster tank. Okay. Uh, as, a, as a bribe, basically. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, we are going to, let's see. Hmm. This feels like a, you're not a human. It would be a human role. Cause I don't know that. All right. You know what? For this, for the purposes of this, because I don't think it's something a fish would be able to do. We're going to roll blade stat. Uh, because I think the negative is more fun and we haven't rolled too many of those. So we're going to do that. Uh, blade stat, we're going to say this is a difficulty of three. Alrighty, right. Uh, minus three. <laughs> minus three total. Uh, you knock it uh, over. Uh, the lobster food, you knock it over. Um, but you get like 90% of it on the floor. <laughs> so there's a little bit sprinkling in from the top in the corner uh, up where you are over here um but majority of it is oh. now landed in between the lobster tank and the fish tank perfect perfect my friends if you wish to feast you must leave your tank <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see what else what else clarence has got for you oh this is a good one he goes be patient and persistent waggles his whiskers at you i don't know Legit if that's really an encouragement or or some sort of you know i mean Legitimate. it could be anything great advice from from clarence like every step of the way oh yeah um i yell across the restaurant to chef it's like chef we are leaving <laughs> in my best aliens <laughs> presentation <laughs> nice and we're, we're door forget the lobsters they deserve their fate ouch I think what happens is because I like the attempt I'll give you two lobsters are attentively listening uh and are interested but uh, Im like again, there. I, I imagine these lobsters to be a little bit more hippie uh, uh, energy, so they're more of like rad, dude. <laughs> I want to go. That sounds like so much fun. If you wish to come, then sing with me. All crustaceans are potatoes. And then I flop off and start heading toward the door. Like they're going to come with me or not at this point. It's up to them. Okay. Uh well, I think they they def I think they they will. You know what? I'll give it to you. They will. Uh they managed to climb out of the lobster tank like they know exactly what they're doing. They've probably been in the tank for all of like a day or two. Uh <laughs> um but they're just like, "Wow, man, I've never been out of this tank." Yeah, man. Oh, man, this is amazing. Uh and uh I think what happens is uh as you make your way towards your friends, uh these lobsters uh suddenly get very distracted. Uh, and they start scuttling away some of these other tables like, wow, what's this, man? Oh, man, this is real cool, man. Oh, man, I've never been out of here before. Uh, and uh, they start to wander over uh, in different directions away from you. <laughs> That's OK. That's a distraction. If, if I don't mind this. Incredible. What's everyone else doing? Uh, Pearl and Harold, how are you guys doing? Well, I think we're we're trying to, as far as I know, we're we're all sort of trying to rush to the towards the door to get a an angle on the door. Uh, yeah. And as soon as it opens, everybody out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think what ends up happening is uh, you do notice that one of these lobsters goes, "Whoa, what's this?" And he wanders under the table. Uh, he sees one of uh, 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 the pants legs and starts to. To, to nudge at that a little bit. He does have big rubber bands across his uh, his pincers, uh, but one of the guests at this table uh, looks down and sees a lobster and just lets out a surprise scream. Uh, this waiter is very shocked, very surprised, uh, almost trying not to step on him, really. Um, and there's now a little bit of chaos in the center of uh, the restaurant, uh, but you do notice that uh, the, these two boys are who are on, kind of on their way out uh, definitely start to make their way towards the door. Gotta get out of here, man. Go oh, for man. it. This is Go crazy. for it. This Follow is our the food's good, but oh man, this is nuts. Follow the dine and dashers. <laughs> I, I guess that, that is kind of what they're doing, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless they paid at the table already, right? 
perhaps who knows uh you're fish you have no idea what that means uh, <laughs> you don't understand capitalism a, no, of course monetary not. transaction I, I don't i have no idea Absolutely. why would you pay for food that doesn't make any sense <laughs> what's pay <laughs> Uh, and yeah, and I think this table also notices there is a crab now under the table. There's lots of chaos screaming. Uh, uh, what is this place? Oh my gosh. Is this how they treat their food? My food is on the table. What is the lobster doing on the table? Aren't they supposed to be in the tank? Uh, there's a lot of chatter. Uh, it's very loud in here. Uh, things are definitely heating up. Uh, you're making your way towards the door. These guys are now uh, on their way. They're pushed open the door. Uh, you have five seconds to react. What happens? Go, 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 go. Yeah. Go. Or uh, actually, you know what? Their, yeah, I just I just run on like try to go between their legs, like all right. Avoid. We're we're gonna make another roll here. Uh, we're gonna do a fish stat. Uh, we're gonna make it a round number of. You know what? Six has been the number today, so we're, we're gonna make it a six. Is this a six to get through the door? To get through the door, fish stat. Don't forget, you, know you do have reputation nice. points. I was gonna make it harder. But uh, do what you got to do. <laughs> uh, I'm in the back. I try and push uh, the crab, Eric. So he goes through. Okay. Uh, I, got, so... I, got an, I got an eight anyway. I Amazing. also got an eight, best friend. <laughs> uh, okay. How did how did the rest of you guys do? I got I a think... three. Three, I got okay. A five. Okay um so we send two people through the door Woo! uh and these guys are out uh and they make their way uh away uh we still have two more comrades behind the door here uh momentary uh uh idea and, and thoughts going on here what's everyone thinking two people are out two people are in technically you can make a break for it uh, you don't have to wait for everybody. Uh, it's one. It's it's not a all for one, one for all situation. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, if there there's is a lot of commotion. If there's an opportunity for me to use myself to wedge the door open for my fishy friends who spent so much time in that kitchen um, to get through the door, <laughs> I will do so. If if it seems like it is not enough time to do so, I will leap into the open water. Okay. Uh, at the moment, there's nobody at the door. Um, Wait, but there so is it, it, it has closed, right? It has closed. Um, okay. For for the sake of like uh, exaggeration, I would say this is like one of those glass doors, so you can see each other oh. through the door. Uh, but uh, the door is definitely very heavy. Uh, definitely something that you all know that would be very difficult to open by yourself. Right. Well, so there's, there's a bit of shrimp goo still there as a, as <laughs> oh, a painful, yeah. painful painful reminder of reality. <laughs> yeah and i, I don't know who yeah i think it was it was the two of you harold and uh yeah uh, uh a chav who did not know that you lost twitchy in uh yeah. the heavy door so you, you do see the remnants of twitchy, of twitchy there yeah <laughs> what is this strange pink stuff in the door that's weird yeah, I, don't, I don't know but hey jeff like all right we gotta we gotta go over our original plan we gotta create some big big huge massive super mega hardcore distraction absolutely uh there's these is buffet there, tables. Aren't they heated? I was wondering, is there any fire or heat on the buffet tables? I would say so. <laughs> uh, I don't know that it's an open flame <laughs> for, 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 you know, uh, all, all those uh, moments where, you know, there's a whole safety feature thing. They might have the super hot uh, lamps to keep all the food warm that are, like, super, super hot. Yeah, I'll take that. So I, I think I'm going to see that and propose that we try to jump up and knock one of those lamps over onto the, like, onto the tablecloth and hope for the best. And cause more chaos. Uh, I love it. Um, I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. If you can convince me uh, to use your laser beam uh, to help you, I will let you roll, roll for that. Um, I'm going to use the oh man i don't know how to use laser beam and chef yeah. doesn't have a chef doesn't have a, a a weapon anymore right no there's but there no, are no there, way coming there by are weapons the... there are weapons on the buffet table there's okay yeah i'm gonna jump there's ladles and grab whatever is there and just step try one to get me a weapon yeah cool uh are both of you going up or just harold no me too okay uh yeah okay so i think we'll give it to you uh, you easily get up on the, the buffet table. No one's even looking at you guys. There's lots of lobster chaos over here. Um, and you see an array of food, uh, more death 
<laughs> more death, <laughs> more weapons. Uh, it's it's a graveyard up here, uh, except it's warm and it's cooked. And uh, there's definitely a, a buffet buffet to your imagination, really. Well, either well, while we get up there, like looking at the lights, there also is probably like a heavy duty like power cable going to the lights. Because it it would it be easier for us to try to you know unplug it and like touch the like live wire like cut through or bite through the wire or something like that. Not very. Uh, perhaps uh, you do also notice too. There's there's another another pair of dudes on their way out. Ooh, what do you think we should do, Jeff? I uh, I I dig through the um, the drumsticks that are there in the buffet, and I come out with a chicken bone. Okay. And, I, and, and Harold's like, what do we do? I look over here and be like, let's get these bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Uh, so I'm going to assume you guys grab your chicken bone and make your way down. Uh, these guys are going to try to open the door one more time. Uh, fish roll. Same number. Can I, try I, think to, I said like, it was... grab onto the, one of their like pant legs to get towed through the door? Okay. Uh... Yes, you can. But I actually uh, rolled well this time. I, I got the same here. Reputation point and my fish stat, I'm at a six. Incredible. I was actually going to say, if you're going to grab onto a pant leg, I would have dropped that to a five to pass. So both yeah, of you well, easily pass. I reputation. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, you have them. You might as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, so these guys make it out uh, as you guys pass, grabbing onto a pant leg, both of you. Uh, uh, you I, see... I do not. I rolled a one. You do not. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you catch the end of the door uh, as these guys roll out uh, with your uh, friend on the edge of their heels, and uh, you roll by and you see uh, uh, Twitchy's guts as uh, just move swiftly by you as you exit the door. Uh, you have one more friend behind the door. Uh, what's what's going on outside? Um, I'm again if, if no, nah, I I think uh, I think my friend Pearl and I just sort of. I think we ride off into the afternoon sun. <laughs> yeah, I'm easily influenced. I think yes. Yeah, hey, babe, let's go for a ride. I think, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I gotta crawl onto her back and <laughs> clamp on. Make, and, make off into the sunset. I, I think we make love off it. into the open water sunset. I, yeah, I on the room. other on the other side of the door. I'm just like, <laughs> go Get out of here. <laughs> Be free. All right. There's one last chance for you to make it out with your comrades, uh, Chev. This is your last opportunity. Uh, we are running out of time, uh, but there's, I was only going to make it three rounds uh, for you guys to make it out. So this is your last roll. Can you make it out? Uh, Let's find we're out. We're going to find out. Let's go. I will switch up my D6s. For and and Harold is definitely seeing this from the other side of the glass door and shining the laser light through the glass door to try to try to assist like by making the guys go through the door slower to give him a better opportunity through the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll count that. Uh, I'll drop the uh, difficulty to five. Uh, if we, if I try and grab down to a pack pant leg, can we drop it to four? Ooh, I'm going to say yes. All right, then I make it. I just got a 309 yeah. plus one. Look at that. <laughs> and with no <laughs> reputation points, we see Chev. Uh, make it out uh, right behind uh, our friend, uh, the uh, seahorse uh, Harold, and uh, this group comes out uh, with Chev hanging on upside down to a uh, shoelace pant leg, uh, passing by our gooey friend uh, Twitchy on his way out, and uh, our fish friends are free. Hooray! So. First of all, thank you guys so much for playing this incredible game with me. You guys are so creative. I'm so pleased uh, with how this turned out. Uh, moral moral of the story, always be fish if you can be fish. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, I guess epilogues real quick. Uh, I think we see Pearl and uh, Eric right off into the sunset together. That kind of a rom-com thing, right? Oh, yeah. Very romantic. <laughs> uh, uh, very like Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I imagine. <laughs> uh Cool. Uh, final thoughts on Harold and uh, 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 Chev here. Chev, it, it was it was an honor. Uh, you have a place at at the court if you ever want one. Thank you, my friend. But 
I believe my place is here. And we <laughs> see Chev looking back at like all of the fish who had who didn't make it out, who are still in the restaurant. And I just start like sharpening my my chicken <laughs> bone. Like <laughs> your time will here. come, my brothers. Amazing, amazing. And of course, there probably are a couple other fish. There's, I would say maybe there's just like a like an angel fish and and you know, uh, a clownfish or so in the once they see it can land. be done. Oh yeah. A little bit of drama. And I'm sure Rodney and the Rat Pack have lots of lots of stories to tell. Now they have an outside man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh Fishblade uh is um this game is, of course, in various different forms. Uh this was a creation of my own, a uh, combination of a series of fish blades that I've been reading uh since the open D D uh drama. Uh please feel free. Uh, to utilize whatever ideas you guys enjoyed for your own games. Uh, I'm hope I hope that I did this game justice. Uh, I hope uh, we uh, get more donations in our next games coming up. Uh, just a big thank you, obviously, to uh, Trisha and Rachel for uh, letting me uh, bring some chaotic insanity to uh, this incredible stream. Please donate, guys. It's for an amazing cause. Uh, and uh, there's also a silent auction I hear. There's some incredible stuff up there. Please, please, please go get that good stuff. I have my eye on this giant D20, uh, which I hear is uh, like bigger than my head. Uh, so definitely go do that. Uh, go get some fun stuff. Um, happy Saturday. Uh, my onesie self and I are going to sit back and watch uh, Alex, who's up next, uh, play some crazy uh, big gay orcs. It's going to be great. Um, I'm going to throw it back to uh, Trisha and Rachel. But before I do that, real quick, uh, Players, if you guys have things you want to plug, I think people do that, right? They do that at the end of, of things like this. Uh, if you have places where people can find you, feel free to reintroduce yourself, uh, throw in whatever you want to share. My name is Debbie. I also go by Fee on the internet. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at that Debbie girl, girl spelled G-U-R-L. Um, I do uh, lots of D&D stuff, not as publicly as I do on social media, uh, but I love D&D. I love uh, role play. Um, and uh, you can find me there. Feel free to hit me up for anything. I'm happy to also share this Google Jamboard if you guys want to use this uh, as a template to create your own uh, fish blade games with your friends. Feel free to reach me. Uh, again, I'm happy to share. Uh, we'll pass it down the line. Uh, Carl, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, just Carl Sver. I'm I'll post my name somewhere. But more importantly, uh, you know, make sure you're donating. This is like for a good cause. Uh, so I think that's really important. And thanks everyone for joining. I hope that our uh, fishy shenanigans were entertaining. I was entertained. Anne, where can people find you? Uh, nothing on my own to plug. Just I'm going to stick around and also excited to watch Big Gate Orcs. I've had the fun of being a player in one of Alex's uh, games once and it was super, super fun. So I'd encourage people to watch and just happy to be here. Amazing. Joe. Hey, everybody. My name is Joe. Uh, I'm also looking forward to watching Big Gay Orcs. Uh, um, quick plug of my own. You can find me on Instagram at the Fedora fan. Uh, you can also, in the silent auction, bid for one of three copies of my module, uh, Nightmare at the Museum, which is available there. Uh, $5 value. Great deal. Amazing. And last but not least, our resident musician, Mark. Hello, uh, my name is Mark Richardson, and I'm with the band Ophelia Falling. You can find us at OpheliaFalling.com or any kind of Twitter, um, uh, Instagram, all social media. You can find us on Spotify. We have several videos on YouTube. Uh, we have a band camp, OpheliaFalling.com. Uh, but please support local music. And, um, and yeah, check out my band. Uh, we're pretty great. Our singer is, in my opinion, one of the best singers in uh, Canada. And she's great. And uh, we're, we're, we're pretty good. <laughs> nice. Uh, we'll definitely have to throw up a, a link there for, for your stuff in our chat. Uh, donate, watch Big Gay Orcs and Resident, uh, I, I, uh, the, the lovely ladies at the very end. Uh, thank you, Trisha and Rachel. Uh, sending it back to you. <laughs>